Oh, there we go, and I've got my speakers. I've, I've got a, I was looking at that checklist, and I thought... Did we check the I've mics? I've got to do the there's, checklist. There's no sound, Steve. There's no sound. Why is there no sound? Hang on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, we got oh, sound. We got, oh, we no, got they sound. can hear us. <laughs> there you go. Good day. How are Totally unorganised. We're only running a couple of minutes, about 60. <laughs> Late. Yeah, I, I had to wake up this morning. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, how are you? Hang on, I've got to go. John, g'day. Oh, yeah. How are you? Uh, well, Azaban, right. g'day. And Brian, g'day. And, yeah, hey. Oh, no, that's... I get a, I get a g'day, Steve, and all, and you get a, a dedicated g'day Theo from John. That's well, Satch. Well, there you go. Satch. 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 Switch. Twitch. Oh, yeah, Twitch. I remember Satch. Hey, let me g'day, just, mate. Let me just pull this bit out so I've got pop-up chat. Oh, oh we got to have the pop up. I'm how come I'm beside myself? Oh, because I'm looking. Ha! I'm looking at the YouTube thing. I'm not looking at um, live. I mean, I'm looking at what you people are don't do it, live. Steve. There you go. And Ben, yes, mate. I'm sorry, we're late. I, I I did tell you we'd be on, but we've been deciding what to do. Well, to, more to the point, as usual, Theo knew what he was going to do. But such is life, I haven't got a clue. Such is life. Such, such, such is life. There you go. I'm Lazarus on too. Bonjour, Stefano Theodorus, and Robert the Lazaritis is. Hello, Russo. I don't know. Does that mean you're argumentative? <laughs> I don't know. Hang on, I'll just. G'day, I'll, Joel. I'll How just are cross you? over. Hang on. Pro- <laughs> oh, what did you, you see that? Star Trek technology. Beam me up, mate. Oh, I can't. Uh, yeah, it's good to be here. Uh, is the Satch live at Saskatchewan? No. No. Bonjour. Just, oh, look. What? It's Jen Robert. Lazarus. Oh, wow. There you go back into your quadrant. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, did you know I was going to tell you this before, but oh, I'm going to impress the socks out of people now. I am actually trade qualified in a trade I didn't know I was a tradesman in. Well, how do you work that out? <laughs> that's that's pretty. Now where is it? Look at this. In look, two. look, I'll show you. I'll show you. Oh, uh, twin screen. Now where is it? Oh, uh, it's in the only. book. Look at that. Look at that. See, it says, that's my Australian Army trade proficiency book. Very good. And Susie found it the other day when she was sorting some crap out. And I'm a qualified motor mechanic. Hang on, well, you I knew changed that. the screen, did you? No, that's yeah, delayed. No, that's there. delayed. No, no. Oh, no, you're I'm back. I'm back on. I'm back on there. Um, motor mechanic, right, well, I know that. Army trade number is T223, and you go to the back, and a T223 is a motor mechanic, civilian trade equivalent, motor mechanic, right? I'm also a vehicle mechanic. Now, you might say, what's the different, big difference? That's a T229. You go down to a T229... A vehicle mechanic equivalent civilian trade is a fitter and turner. Oh, I didn't oh, know that, so I was a fitter and turner as well. Oh. So a fitter and turner, mechanic, paratrooper, woodworker, yeah, yeah. blacksmith, professional speaker, yeah. damn fine bloke, extremely modest, I'm just dog thinking. handler, just husband. <laughs> Jeez, the number of things. I, I don't Congratulations. Know. Well, thank you. <laughs> I've bridged a the gap. I didn't know that. Yeah, but they, they said teach... all this time I could have been a fitter and titter and it didn't. I wouldn't have known. Did they teach you uh, one good turn deserves another? <sighs> yeah, I did. I tell you, one of the things they did teach you that I learnt the hard way: do not leave the chuck and the metal lathe because the chucks are about. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and they dent roofs. It's a pity those skills don't transfer to wood turning. Yeah, well, they're too safety bloody conscious <laughs> wood turners. <laughs> We've just had that conversation. <laughs> Nanny state. Anyway, what are you going to do? Oh, You're going to have to go in a dog bowl. Steve went out to the wood pile and he found this lump of Hang wood. on, I'll give you... Okay, you can have Theo. Theo. Oh, gosh. Theo only with go. an insert. Got, there you go. And I'll just, Where are you? There we go. So we found this lump of wood. What What wood is it, Steve? Uh, yellow box. I'm yellow talking. box. Yellow and box. it's got a little bit of a horn here. And I thought I'd turn a dog bowl. Speaking of which, look, he's just <laughs> he turned just up. arrived. Come here. Come here. You going to say hello to the people? Hang on. I'll, I'll just go this way. Where, where are you? Huh? He's all happy. Look at that. He is. Are you happy? No, I'm camera shot. Come here. Oh, look, Come he's going to be all over ah. there. There you go. 
Good. See, he's making me a dog bowl. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to put food in it for me? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, come on. Yeah, good boy. This is going to be a bowl for you. Look. Oh, can I eat it? Can I eat it? Oh, yeah. I'm into it. Yeah, no, get on, on your you. bed. I think he knows when we say his name. Yeah, he probably does. Yeah. He's, he's whacking me. What are oh, you going to say? Food. What? what? You gotta lie in your bed. You got a nice bed out there. Yeah. No, go on. Go and lie in your bed. I've lost my tram of Look thought. Look at that. There's a little tail in Theo's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good boy. Now go on, lie down in your bed, you mutt. So you got to, you'll get a close up look at this later, but oh, uh, hang on, we'll go uh, back. Oh, no, no, I'll give you air time. There she is. She's pretty gnarly, and as always, out of whack. It's not going to be balanced. It's uh, cut pretty. Is that me you're talking about? Cut with a bit of wood. It's cut with a chainsaw or something. Yeah, oh, something. I'll tell you, it's a chainsaw. It's all bloody cracked. But I'm going to turn this into a thing of beauty. Should take a photo of it. Three eighty one. Should take a photo with a before and after. So, because. Because I want to turn part of this out, unfortunately, that's yeah, that's got to go. Otherwise, if that was the base, we'd just end up with that at the front with the bowl in there, and that would look okay. But I'm really looking at maybe keeping some of this gnarly stuff around the outside <laughs> and turning and turning this edge here, so the wood's going to be spinning, yeah, pretty obtusely. I'm just I'm just hooking in there. Uh, that the satchel's just giving me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Bob emos. Look at that, Bob's the star, and he's left. Ray's on, mate. Right, he drinks. He drinks soy latte, or what's the other short black and a long glass, or something or other. Yeah, yeah, a single yeah. shot, long black. So you got to get all these because he's coming. The they oh, know? To have you Perth. told them? Yeah, no. Well, I, I've to told Perth. them. I told them on Friday as a possibility, but I got the word on on you Monday on Monday that uh, it's definitely on and uh, they're booking my flights as we speak. There you go. Uh, so I think uh, I'm flying what? in on the third, which is the first, which is the Thursday, demonstrating Friday, Saturday, Sunday, fly back Monday. And what he doesn't know is we had a whip round in Queensland to send him over there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. That's because we didn't win State of Origin. Did you watch State of Origin? New South Wales Don't mention the war. No, no, uh, they do. Oh, look, proud of them. Queensland. They, they done good. Uh, <laughs> that that one, Tedesco going over on. Oh, oh yeah, no. It was for, pretty, for those of you that don't wrenching. live in planet Earth, um, <laughs> no, we have this football competition, which is National Rugby League. Every year, there are three games between New South Wales and Queensland. And the, the side that was last. Wednesday, wasn't it? A couple yeah, of days it was, ago. It was. And it was a Wednesday. great game. New South Wales unfortunately won, but I think they deserved to win. That, that's not the best finish. They what? They they did. 20 seconds to go. James Tedesco <laughs> took off, Cut. pumped it over, and won. However, I can remember there was a game in the 80s when Fatty Vorton was coaching. Coach. That was his right on the full time whistle. Queensland yeah. went over, and Fatty's comment can you remember Fatty's comment? Your beauty? No, nah, never in doubt. He didn't get excited or anything. <laughs> it won the full time whistle. Bang! They went never over in doubt. Door. And Fatty goes, "Never in doubt." Uh, <laughs> oh dear! Uh, oh, one dear. of his one of his comments. He used to always say "Wooshka," and I, I, that's the name of my uh, rowing skull. It's still it's still on the water. You have a special head for rowing. I'm think I'm thinking <laughs> of, of 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 starting a, a channel called Wooshka Wood Turning. Wooshka. Yeah. So I when I finish, I'll go, and there, Wooshka, there it is. It's like a magic term. Oh, mm, oh Wooshka. okay. Wooshka. Yeah. It's, but you've got to put the H in, W-H-W-W-W-O-S. That's the sound my toilet C-H. Wooshka. It's up around the bend. What have we got? Everyone's talking now. Up around the bend. Up around the bend. That sounds like a Cretan song. It does. It does. Let's do it. We've had Pink Floyd going all week in here. David Gilmore, geez, he's good. So is that you going off? Yeah. It's, Why don't you turn your phone off when you're on the street? <laughs> leave it. Mine's on charge. No, leave it on. But someone more important might ring. No. Ah, uh, what special treat does she? Oh, look at that. So uh, the point of Ray, was... Roy, 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 Roy on. Get out, mate. Hey, I know I haven't been on. That's why I haven't seen you for a while. But good to have you with us. Yeah. What? 
But I just yeah, wanted, I just say. wanted two minutes so to explain. Two minutes. That. Okay. But well, 30. I'll say bye for now because Sam's going to have to. You can still keep looking at the stream. No, nah, it's all right. I'll talk. I just, I just wanted to say that if I put this on here, the screws would actually come out inside the bowl, so we can't do that. So what I'm going to do is use this chuck. <laughs> this is this is. Hey, you just got. To, I'm going to interrupt you here. Ray goes. <laughs> um, looking forward to seeing you on Saturday then. Though I'm not sure if the West Aussies are cultured enough to sell soy latte. <laughs> 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 oh dear well that's okay uh, single shot long black in a mug will do <laughs> there you go all right you've uh, got the, it again the western australians they're lovely people uh i got to go there uh, a little while ago and it was fantastic so i've decided i'm going to use this chuck so this is going to remain flat what's that one is that the c4 it's the SC4. That I'm getting one of those. Four. Look, It'll even, be here next even a month. Number four there, but this, these are the uh, fairly fairly big jaws. I think they're about. Are they the jaws that come with it? No, no, no. The, oh, why didn't you tell I mean, me? I want a set of those too. I've got I've got these jaws as well, and they're not standard jaws either. But that's still not the bigger, the wider it is, the better. The is group. that one held together with tape? Is it broken? No. That's my knuckle protector when it's spinning. So you, if you oh, you know, and it goes flap, 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 and while you hear it flapping, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's your early warning system. Oh. So I did pick up a short ruler. Hang on, we got some Charlotte Rose. Good day, morning. Lovely to have hey, you in the It is freezing. In fact, I can tell you, I know, I know, it wasn't freezing, and it's yeah, it's a one hundred twelve degrees. No. <laughs> It's a 12th today. I'm looking at the wrong way. It's 18, 19 degrees, 41% humidity. Well, there you go. And I wanted to go out to Texas. It'd be a bit cooler out there. Do you want, do you want the camera back? No, no, no. There no, you go. Right. No, go on. So what I'm going to do is put a recess between there and there uh, around like that so the jaws can go... So the jaws can go in there and grab the spigot. I don't really like expansion. When you see cracks like that, um, the last thing you want to be doing is expanding, particularly a burl. Um, you really don't know what it's what it, what you know the consistency. The grain goes every which way. So um, that's going to be wide enough. Well, it needs to be wider for me to open up and then grip on a spigot. A little bit right. wider than that. So that'll that's be it. fine. All right. Big Artie, he was a player. Trevor, Trevor says, my favourite was when Big Artie ran on and smashed the whole New South Wales team. There oh, you God. go. Morning, Paul. Welcome to the workshop. I'm going to... Hey, look what I found. I, I know I showed you before, but I'll pretend I didn't, so act amazed, all right? Look what I found oh, in, a scrap, in a scrapyard. I went looking... What did I go looking for? I can't remember now. Oh, some... Um, scrap. Yeah, microwaves. I wanted some microwaves. Uh, little ovens. I didn't want the microwave. What I wanted was the God, this is magnets hard. in the microwave. Couldn't have made this any harder. There you go. You just, well, it should still go click. Yeah, it doesn't. It yeah. does. Um, so anyway, while I was in there, I grabbed some microwaves. So I pulled the magnets out. I got ripped off too. The transformers in there. I pulled them out. I should go and get them because they're outside. No. All copper windings. I got all excited. I thought oh, I could melt that down and make ingots and and stuff when I started to cut it it's not as copper coated aluminium felt ripped off anyway these were here because he had a lot of stuff from laboratories and they're different size screens look at that hang on let me get I'm going to hold a close up wait a minute oh it, yeah you can wave there because you're still in shock it's all right. oh look <laughs> different <laughs> different size screens so you Put them on top of each other. And you go finer, finer, finer. And then you finer, finer, finer. And that's just what I want for doing some marketry. Burning stuff. Huh? Well, how does it, what's it, how does it relate? It, it, well, it does. For burning. Yeah, you, well, you've, you've got, got a to... sieve that screeds. Yeah. So for marketry, for, for, for what? Burning. For burning. For sand shading. So when you sand oh. shade, you heat your sand up. And the finer... Yeah, that's the right. The finer you, the sand, yeah. the nicer the burn. And see, and I'm going to do some marketing while I'm thinking about it. I went through all that agony last stream. I literally have not been in the workshop. I accept the clever. Check this out. It's 
Pretty Force, bloody clean. But, you can see the floor. Theo gets in there and, <laughs> and, and makes a mess. Look at this. Look. 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 Can you, you? Look. Where is it? Called on it. So you saw it live look, look, here on Woodworking floor, Masterclass is the best look shot at of this. any floor Under the lathe, there is. Look at that. I've got my special the turning carpet, shoes. carpet, everything. You notice he gets rubber and I don't. Yeah, but you get spin things. Actually, <laughs> so it's tidy. I'm going to take a shot of that afterwards. There is. A, he there doesn't is. get a coffee until he picks it all up. That's it. There is a mat outside, actually. I should go and get it. Well, no, that's my truck mat. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Oh, you wuss. I know, I'm a wuss. What are you thinking? Well, go out the back door. That's where it is. That would be too easy. Okay. Make life hard for yourself. I don't care. Anyway, he's gone out to dinner. G'day, Michael. How are you? Welcome to the workshop. What have we got here? Um, Charlotte Rose, Theo, why would you waste your food? Oh, because he's a special dog. Don't, he, he'll come in here. He'll co I'll read him that comment when he comes in. No, he's a special little mongrel. Um, we, we, we had to call it something, so dog bowl. Besides that, I've got over a hundred of them scattered around the yard. I bought them back on a. I went out west to get some timber, and I saw one. I thought, oh, I wouldn't mind one of those. And I thought, oh, if I could find half a dozen of those bells, gee, I'd be happy. And I ended up getting a hundred and two, and I've got another hundred to go back and pick up. I found that Bob was out there sunning himself. Yeah, he should. There you was. Look at this. Charlotte, right? Uh, Bob, come here, come here. Come here, Bob. Because you're going to... Come here. Come here. Up here. Up here. Come here. Yeah, big fat slob. Come here. Up here. Don't call him names. No, of course. This, this, come here, Bob. This affects you. This oh, affects that's good. You. Oh, it so does. Much it does. Charlotte writes... Oh, 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 oh. See? Why would you waste a perfectly lovely bowl on a burl on a dog? <laughs> oh, see? It's not just any dog. That's Bob. That's Bob the dog. <laughs> see, he heard that. Yeah, oh, he's... He's back here. He wants to do Look some it. turning. Uh, Is that for me, Uncle Fair? Is that for me? Oh, you good <laughs> thing. Hey, yeah, it's for you, Bob. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You tell him it's not just any dog. Look at that tail going. See what you've done, Charlotte. Oh, you, you've he, started him off. He loves this bit of wood. He can't wait to get into it. I think we, if we put, if we put food in it, he's just going to eat the bowl. Skip the food. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, God, oh, ben, the game went to a decided because the game in Perth <laughs> was rigged. Oh, you can't say that. No. No. What? Mutt. So they have a sellout of 81,000 people on the next game? No. Couldn't have done that. Wouldn't be, wouldn't have been orchestrated. Oh, why use a bowl on a dog bowl? What a waste of a... They're ganging up on you, Bob. Okay, there's two people reckon we're wasting our time making you a dog bowl. <laughs> G'day, Chad. Welcome to the workshop. Hey, Frank. Pine Island? Where's Pine Island? Pine? Is there such a thing? Oh, well, apparently. Where's Pine Island, Frank? I'm interested to know. Uh, so you're thinking of Norfolk Pine Island? Norfolk? No, no. It's Frank Rail. Um, the name from beautiful Pine Island. I don't know how long that water's been sitting there. I don't oh, know. Oh, is there someone from Pine Island? Yeah. Oh, look it up. Well, no, he'll let me know. I'm interested. Yeah, I'll but Pine know. Island mightn't be close to anything. Well, it would be close to something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, any, I'm going to start screaming some of the sand. Oh, look okay. See, look, 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 I just did that. Hang on, let me go here. And I just tipped all that sand into there. And look, see all the dirty big bits. That's what that one holds. And then we screen it through the next one, which is the next level. Oh, it's in, there's the Pine Island Country Club in... By Rochester. There you go. Oh, As that's in, in England. No, nah, that'll be America. Rochester? Charlotte. Sure it is. MN, is that mine? MN. 
There you go, Rochester, eh? See? But there's lots of Pine Islands. I can't get over how many Pine Islands there are. Well, then we found out. Well, thanks. Now that's settled that. USA, there you go. England. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Charlotte goes, yes. Be nice to me. It's be kind of animals we. Hewan, g'day. How are you? Oh, I bet you it's cold up there. I'm complaining because it's 20 degrees down there. What temperature you got over there? Is that... Minnesota. Oh, there you go, Minnesota. Who the... I knew a girl that was a oh. pet chaplain in Minnesota. That was one of my, my chaplaincy days. A pet chaplain. A pet chaplain. What? Yeah, I used to do it here. Well, oh, I used to... Um do things for pets. Oh, well, it wasn't that. I mean, if, if someone has got a pet that they really love, yeah. and the pet passes away, they need they grieve and go through oh, yeah, I suppose, all yeah, the other stuff. No so as a, a human partner, really. So I yeah. used to do a lot of grief counselling and healings and what have you. There's another phase in my life. Oh. I used to do a lot of cancelling when I was the registrar of business names. Yeah, I used to cancel a few cancel business everything. names. People weren't using them. You most likely cancelled a few of mine. <laughs> One of my biggest challenges was was uh, when, when I had a, without mentioning names, uh, there was a, a wedding service called Magnetic Island Weddings and someone wanted to register weddings on Magnetic. Well, did it attract people? <laughs> yeah. Uh, is there a conflict? That was a hard one. I won't tell you the outcome. Uh, I had one I put in one of the training organisations. <laughs> and I wanted Remington Rankin Associates. Because I reckon it was cool. Because he had Remington Rank and... Um, yeah, so Remington Rank. And I rang up and this bloke wouldn't let me have it. <laughs> Well, no, I can't because it's too close to the big corporation. Oh, uh, yeah, well. And I said, <laughs> I said, well, I want it. He said, well, can you give me a good reason why you want Remington Rankin Associates? This is a true story. And I said, yeah. I said, I used to have a black Labrador and his name, name was, was Remington and he died, but I didn't find him for two weeks and he was very rank and they approved it. <laughs> Serious? Seriously. That was back in the oh, 1980s. Yeah, so I got Remington Rank in the sash. Because <laughs> my dog was dead and he smelled. <laughs> no, the, oh, I think I've mentioned this one before, but one of my favourites was William the Concreter. That was just too good to be true. Oh, oh what have you got? You are just heading to bed. It's 1 a.m. here. But have a good time working on that. We will do. Check it in the, in the after the after the event stream. Have a good night's sleep, mate. Charlotte, uh, what are you sipping, Stephen? Why? Tim Tams and a cup of tea. That was from Trevor. All right, Charlotte, no, what I'm sipping is river sand. And I'm going to do some marquetry. And what you do, I don't know if I've got any around here. I think I might have all gone. Um, oh, hang on. Let's see. Oh, no, it didn't shade that bit. Um, what you do to give a 3D effect with marquetry is you actually shade parts where you get two bits of veneer overlapping. You shade, hang on, let's go here. You shade one edge and it gives the illusion that it's 3D because this is casting a shadow on here, so you shade down there. And the way you shade it is you burn it in sand, which I did have. Oh, look at that. I'm half there. Are you turning? No. <laughs> oh. We've got some issues. Mate, I've, I've got a spoon gas. We could spoon gas. Oh. We have issues. Uh. So I was planning on holding it with just, um, with just a couple of jaws, but that's not going to work. Well, I'll see if Bob wishes to use his jaws. Okay, what you do is you, that's the LP gas cylinder, the burner on top, bottom of a fruit tin, I think. 
And then that has sand in it. Those, we'll get rid of that in a minute. Those bits shouldn't be there. But what you do is you heat it up and the sand gets hot. It doesn't melt or get molten or anything. It gets hot and then you dip the veneer in and it will char the end of the veneers. That's how you get the shaded area. And this is some river sand I picked up from a landscapers the other day. And I just want to get all the big gritty bits out. So I've got nice smooth sand. Because if you've got grits, it gives you an uneven burn. This is also good if you're going to do any casting, which I'm going to do that later. Where's, where's the thing you made for me? Where did I put it? CO. Big you. and flat. Round. Space plate. Gonna put it on. But I'm gonna do some metal casting. And for the sand for that you want pretty small sand, smooth sand. So again, it's good for that. So we'll see how we go. I could curdle if I could do it. So I just need to mark where I think the centre should go, and that would be. Oh, I met this really interesting lady yesterday. She, uh, she's got a plasma cutter. And you should see the art she does. Shovels. She'll get a shovel. Yeah. And um, burn designs in the blades of the shovel and you hang it up on your wall. Bush scenes and oh, yeah. kangaroos and wolves and. Oh. Kangaroo this. Very, very talented lady. That's where I got the 44 gallon drum from. Maybe I could use the ruler. About there. About 18. Oh, it's over that way. It's like making a cake, isn't it? Morning, Jared. How are you from Geelong? I bet it's cold down there this morning. Only if you get in the water. Uh, yeah, I'm with you, Ray. Pizza should not be reheated. There shouldn't be any left to reheat. You should. I used to be like that with a bottle of port. I opened a bottle of port. I never put the cork back in it. Now I don't drink. I can. <laughs> I can understand why. Oh. No, no, no. All right, now. Let's just put this in. Here. It's in really minute. going in, isn't it? And I'll, I'm just going to go on. Actually, no. I think I'll use the compressor and do that. Uh. So I fixed the microphone problem. I've got a, I'll see if I can turn with this shield. It's, it's mesh. So, oh, look at that. It looks a bit funny, but I should oh, stop. You get used to that. I've got one of those for the yeah. chainsaw. It's a bit meshy. Uh, so I've got the flat, got the point up there. I just really want to get a flat across through here so that I can remount it and form those, um, Ooh, form that funny. recess. See, I use all the big words. I'm going to use the small gouge, small cuts, and this is going to spray everywhere. That's a shame because the workshop is so clean. Uh, well, remember, you've got to pick it up afterwards. <laughs> red to red, black to black, flick the switch, stand right back. So you want a close-up. Yeah, you're going to have Theo whilst I'm doing this. There you go. Oh, yeah, look, you've got close-up of both of us. Oh, okay, yeah, there you go. Well, I bring the lathe, I bring the camera around. Oh, on, which one do you want? Like? Seasick tablets. Bob's not on his bed. Oh, yeah, that's his bed. All right, how's that going to go on too close up? Look at that! Mine's not interesting at the moment because I'm just, I'm just sifting sand. Just sifting sand. I'm going to have a close up of that. Oh, 
I'll go the bigger one. And it gives this. And it's the big black one. So this tool is at 45 degrees. It's sharpened at 45 degrees. That's the 45 degrees from horizontal. And Trevor says there's a concrete in Caboolture called King Concrete. I need to kick the leg. Hey, good day, Neil. How are you? It's me doing this the right way. Is is what? Neil's on. Good day, day sensei. <laughs> Whoop! Is that the camera wobbling or the leg? No, no. It's, we just you've got the rubber feet on this I leg, do. and you shouldn't have the rubber feet on. Well, what are they giving to me for? Then? Well, they it, it's a. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, they thought it was a good idea at the time. Right, well I'll take them off. Anyone want four rubber feet? And we've got to say thank you to Record Power. So thank you Record Power, this blade is awesome. You hear, you hear how hard this is, Steve? Thanks. Danny used to be the one with the thesaurus, didn't he? Ray said we should get the thesaurus out again because you're coming up with big words. Oh. Well, that's well. They gave me the name Theodorus. Yeah, it has been there. I haven't seen you for yonks. Oh, no. Didn't I catch up with you at the Brisbane Wood Show? No, but that's still a long time. Yeah. The lever on top. Yeah, no, that's because you want me to take the feet off. We should take them off. I'm just going to go and take my feet off. Wait a minute. What do I want? What, do is, what is it? I'll hold it up. You take the feet off. Yeah. <laughs> you hold it up. I'll pull the feet off, mate. It's all right. Um, what uh, what are know. they? 13s? Um, oh, they just screw out or they got screw, uh, uh, yeah. screws in the bottom or bolts? I don't know. You put them on. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't put mine on. I didn't. Well, you, well, there you go. Yeah, we'll kick it up like you a horse. Had an experience. We'll kick it up like a horse. All right. We'll, we'll start up this end. Oh. Can, they can nearly see what we're doing. All right. Yep. Oh! He's a farrier. That's it. Hang on, I'll just move the camera while I'm holding the lay. Oh, oh no. I can't even. Doesn't matter. I can't even tell. This. Oh, well, you saw it was Phil's head. Oh, don't you drop it. Yeah, the little Philip's head. Oh, yeah, I've got one. He must have been an unfortunate bloke, that fellow, eh? Philip. Philip. There you go. Oh, there you got a, you got a crook head, Phil, we'll call it. Not, a bad, not as bad as Morse. Well, what about Jacob? Yeah, well, he was into heavy metal, I reckon. That was just a Jacob's chuck. That was I wish I could show you what he's doing, but he's he's gone down on his knees for me. But don't say anything. Ah! <laughs> oh, Lucky they on. can't see me through the face shield. Ah! 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 That's it. I'll tell you. Oh look, he's gone. He's gone up to his back. He thinks he's a see, he thinks he's a motor mechanic. I'll do this he's, when there's no bobber. I did that. I was working on a quarter ton trailer once. And I did this, and the trailer came down in his rib cage. Oh, that doesn't. Just a yeah. smoko happened. And I was there for 15 minutes while everyone was the smoke. I couldn't lift it off. I got the gearbox of a standard cadet oh. on my chest once. Oh, all right, put it down. What? <laughs> Steve, oh, I feel fairly Steve, confident you're not going to hit me. Steve, <laughs> Steve wants to get put down. Now, yeah. this is, this is, I should slide. Oh, everyone, can you see me, foot? Oh, no. It's there. Oh, there, yeah, there it is. Hang on. Oh, jeez, oh, that was close. Jeez, he's nearly got a bowl in the box then. <laughs> that be... oh, that's a safety issue. <laughs> Can you pick it up? Don't what? mock me, boy. <laughs> 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 ah, yeah. Okay, ready or lift? Yeah, I'm ready. Well, what does that constitute? Oh. Oh. A bowl on someone's there head. There you go. Be Just don't look up my nose. I don't, yeah, I really... I, Ladies and gentlemen, you're lucky you're not watching this because it's <laughs> the chat's gone berserk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need therapy. <laughs> Take 
taking these off. Yeah, by the way, the lathes come with rubber feet, but you really shouldn't put them on. Well, if you do put them on, don't invite Theo around. <laughs> well, I mean, they work fine. Just don't put anything off centre on the lathe. Well, you see, that's it. I'm just, it, I'm just going oh. between your legs here. Right? Oh, it, now, he, here's a tip as well. Um, <laughs> if you plug up that hole with a screw or uh, just with wax or whatever, you can actually fill the legs with sand. And that will actually help uh, aid. I mean, it's a pretty stable laid anyway. But it actually aids the stability. Just another. Now, is that heavy? Because I finished, but you can hang on to it. No, it's not heavy. It's my brother. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh why didn't I put it on <laughs> Oh, I got all funny in there. In fact, I've got chlorine poison. <laughs> Oh. That's what happens when you spend oh. too much time in the shower. The chlorine gets you. Oh, oh well, that was fun. Oh, thank you, Steve. Can I do that no. again? No, it's no problem. Have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the, there's oh. the, there's the feet that came off. Oh, that's good. I'll use them for something else. Yeah. Now. There you go, your you screwdriver. Oh, yeah, oh well, you. I hope you enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen, because well, I did. not they... <laughs> Oh. Should I've got shavings down. Oh, I've got shavings all inside my singlet now. That's horrible. Uh, uh, that wobble would scare me. Not as much as lying there taking the feet off, looking up <laughs> Theo's legs. I tell you what, that was something that I don't want to remember. Uh, no, nah, see, that's the difference, lads. He's my dog and he wouldn't back up on me like that. <laughs> Uh, What's in your coffee? Oh, I wish there was <laughs> one. Oh. Yeah, I could do with one. <clears throat> Whoops. Forgot to put that down. Yeah. Katie, I blundered in here about 25 minutes ago. Bobby's praying for the brains here. <laughs> She's oh, right. you are so right. You are so quick. Oh. Mr. Wright would agree with that. Ah, Bobby's a good, good fella. Scones, scones sounds like. We can't have scones today. Oh, cause, what a difference. Because, because, wife has gone out. She's taken the grandkids out and left us. Yeah, well. Here. The thing is, I, I don't do scones. Well, you mightn't. Except on the head. <laughs> Except on the head. He nearly beat me with a <laughs> 10 kilo burl. All right, now let's go back here and it shouldn't be rocky wobbly. There you go. Oh, look at that. It doesn't move. That's a rock and beat, that is. you're wondering the lay's doing 384 which is not a lot of speed hey are you gonna say hello to katie because she likes you she reckons bob bob come here no he's just not interested in starting Nearly, nearly a push-up. I had to do a push-up the other day. I tilted, I pivoted the lathe. 
that late and I forgot to lock it. <laughs> Started turning and the whole headstock was moving. That wasn't a good look. So I should have done two push-ups actually. It was not a good, not a good idea what I did. There we go. I'm going to go to the smaller one. That's nice and fine for when I want to start shading. Then I'll, I'll fire it up and I'll show you. I'll show you what it does before we get around and do the design. Behind! Before you go too small, good idea to stop. Because remember I was telling you about the unpredictability of Burr. And a little catch right now would really not, not be good. holding that with the point of the live center just put this tool I might move my screws out and put my turning tools so I should saw that off now and that will be enough to put my face plate on Looks good. oh that's what I was gonna do light this thing up oh it's just just needed a saw. There you go. Oh, look at that. We can have toast. So he's a fitter and turner. Yeah. Oh, I found my saw. It's missing a couple of teeth. I don't know. I think I left it. Look at that. It looks like it's been to the dentist, doesn't it? Unbelievable. So I'll just cut this off. I've got a really nice saw I got from Christian, Japanese tool. Gee. He's a nice bloke, isn't he? He is terrific bloke. Whole family. I got a whole lot of uh, sandpaper off him the other day. Yeah, it's yeah, nice sandpaper. It is. Abronet. Abracadabranet, yeah. I've got stuff that I've had for three years and I've used it and it won't wear out, whereas all the other stuff that I've got, it eventually does wear out. So this was the face plate I had before. Take that off. And I will use... Uh, now I can probably finish the bottom because I've got this and the four screws. Did I say I had the four screws? Yeah, had them before. Yeah. I just need the driver. Gee, that clears me. Alright, oh, where am I up to? Oh, I love you too, Bob. He, he's left Haven. I'm sure, I'm sure he loves you as well. He's a friendly fella. What's in your coffee? Oh, where are we up to? I have no idea. <laughs> How is the little fella now, little Billy? Tell you what, he's a well trampled dog, isn't he? Oh, I was just, I was doing this for you, Charlotte, uh, or anyone that wants to watch. All I'm doing is I'm just going to show you how this shading works. 
so uh, you know why I'm getting the sand. So I've lit the burner and that sand, yeah, it's getting warm. Um, when it gets hot enough, I'll dip some veneer in it and you can see it. Meanwhile, I'm going to continue screening this. Ah. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, tension mounted. I can't find my square driver. Which is, um... <laughs> You can have the camera for a bit, I'm just putting the jaws back on my chuck. Uh, Cecil. Had an interesting thing the other day. Well, as I kept, oh, look, I'm terrible. I'll go up to the house to get something, and then I'll do this and I'll do that and I'll do, and three o'clock in the afternoon I'll come back down, down to the shed, and then I realised why I went up to the house. Um, and I was talking to someone the other day and they said, no, it happens to me all the time. So we've come to the conclusion, it's not that we've got bad memories, it's just we've got so much to remember because we're so old that we can't find the information we want straight away. Does that sound fair for you? Yeah, I reckon that sounds fair. Probably. I don't know, I can't remember. I was going to melt these down, you know, in the um, foundry just to get the brass out, but I think I'll keep them. They're a great idea. I'm going to run a marketry course too. Yeah, it's so. better than watching grass dry. Well, you get more exercise, really. Oh, I found the square bit. Now we're up with those screws. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. All right, well, I'll, I'll pinch the camera. Then. There you go. It's not very exciting, but are you back? Have you got what you're looking for? Yeah. I was... All right, you can have that one back again. I'm going to need that drill. Um... What the drill you didn't want before? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Um, you got the drill bit? I got. I found bit? the bit. Oh, I've got the drill here. So I've got I'm gonna... a battery over here. Oh, yeah. So we should be good to go. I'm going to put the faceplate on. I could have mounted it flat. There you go, look at that. Asking you, Shelby. The Bosch. Same as the one I've got at home. Yeah, well, that's why you bought them at the same place at the same time. The, the memory is where masters were closing down. That's right. Oh. Yeah, Steve and I went to different schools at the same time. No, you left school way before I did. What's that, Dad? <laughs> it's my, my younger, my younger brother is my dad. Uh, it's like my sister, she calls me her older brother, but she's older than I. Oh, that didn't go down too well. That's why did that kick up? Why is it so? I don't know. We're going to fix that. Is it still over centre? I think it is. I think it is B1. I better loosen this off. I bought some DAA the other day, but I don't know. They reckon it's poisonous. Oh, I need to swallow. But I found something out. DAA. What is it? What's DAA? Oh, Dimatish. Dimatish. Denote it absolute alcohol. Oh, Industrial okay. strength and meth place. It's either DAA or ISM. I thought you were talking about diametaceous earth. And what I didn't know is DAA in some chemical companies is an acetone product. But I use it for French polishing and general usage around the shed. doesn't want to go in, but as long as I've got two screws, maybe three. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Yeah. 
Yeah, that one's not touching yet either. Is that good or is that bad? Yeah, that's good. I could have pre-drilled them. Just shows you how hard this burl is. There we go. All right, let me see, let me see, let me see what I've got. It's going all right. Might as well get the job done properly. These will usually go. Was well, it three times as hard because you've said it three times? Or stop repeating. I've told you a thousand times. I've told you a stop. million times. Don't exaggerate. Stop repeating yourself. Stop repeating yourself. Oh, look at that. I hold it up and you can't see. All right, wait a minute. We'll see how it's doing that. Bit. Okay, that's a piece of chili and myrtle, and to shade it, you dip it into the sand. which you might not be able to see. There you go. Better off if you can use tweezers because it gets a bit hot on your fingers otherwise. But it's all right because it's only a little bit. And you see how that's now got little burned areas on it. That bit of sand on it, which I don't want. So you can see the end starting to burn. A uh, yellow box, Neil. There you go. So, if, for example, you did that, then it looks as if this part here is casting a shadow over here. And that's the reason for the hot sand. I'll turn that off now. I've done a, a demo of it. I'll put it down here. So I don't burn your fingers on it. And I think that's going to do me for the moment. That's just pretty coarse about what that... What have I got to use for coarse sand? I don't think so. I so can throw, throw that away in the bin. These are good. If you ever see those and you need anything for... What a great idea, filtering. <coughs> All right. So that's got the sand ready for that, which I'm happy with. Now I've got to work out. I want to put, I'm back on this um, oh, ebony box that I've got to finish. The last stream I just played around with and Borneo, trying to work out what to put on it. And after the stream and comments of what were the comments? Sometimes less is more. I decided I wasn't going to do that. So now what I want to do is put a bunch of roses on it, I think. So that's what I'm thinking of doing at the moment. So before Theo starts throwing lethal objects around, I'll get a couple of pencils from over here. Oh... Where did I put that tracing? Money Tittable. Money Kanuchi. There were six of them. They all had blue shirts on. Here we go. Oh, uh -huh. well, you can't see because I've got that. Oh. Not the corner of that one. Uh, oh, we've got the close ups. That's great. We've got the close ups happening there. So I have. Um, yeah, there's no actual point on that, so it's not going to dig in. And this this book I've got here, it's just a... I pinched it. I pinched it from my wife's sewing cabinet, and it's just an applique book, which I'm going to get the simple design out of, and then I'm then going to mark it. So I'm going to go with... I don't know which rose. I'll draw two of them and I'll see which one I like the best.
No. Okay. Box full of papers on an HB and I pulled two, two H's here. Oh, this one will be. Bottom. I'm thinking of a um, <laughs> bunch of roses. So this open one might not do what I want. And yeah, don't copy it exactly, just near enough, good enough. Oh, this is going to be really interesting. It's going to kick a bit. And the last thing I need to do is put a roughing gouge on it because if I come at it like that, it's just going to lift the grain. But I want to try and even this up. You can see that that comes to back in there and this is all the way over here. So I want to take a fair bit of that off. Could take it off with a saw, but what's the fun in that? That's true. And they're dangerous saws. If you put your fingers on them, they cut you. All right. That's I actually that forgot one. about my helmet, so I'm doing all right. Yeah, if you go like this, it'll you just get a big chip off it. So we'll try to come at it from the side. We'll see how we go. We got this one down here. I've got the tar stock up, but it's it's not driving a point. I don't want really want to go too deep into there um, because I'm I'm just going to have a virtually a groove down in there for my chuck. So red to red. I've got this the lathe set on the uh, middle torque setting, so I can get a bit more speed later on. We'll give them a plug, and it's a record power Coronet Herald. Coronet is it Coronet Herald or Herald Coronet? It's the Coronet Herald. Coronet Herald, right? Named after. I promised I'd never say that live, so I should stop myself. And I'm one that doesn't actually get excited about doing laser work, but I really enjoy using it as well. It's quite nice. Okay. Uh, David Dunn! Uh, here you go. Welcome to the, welcome to the, the workshop. And God bless you too, my friend. Uh, where are we up there? Can you get... 190 proof grain alcohol in Australia. No, what we use, the stuff I've got uh, for D, with the DAA I use is, let's go to this one, is denoted absolute alcohol is 99.7% proof and the other 0.3% of a percent is made up of the stuff that makes it taste horrible so you can't drink it. Um, and I'll use it yeah, for French polishing or uh, any other work I need. Spirit tip, I guess. Uh, oh, that's good, Charlie. Good. I'm happy about that. Turn that model away, I'll hold the point. Uh, you can also pinch it. No, I didn't pinch it, cutting mat. I've got a supply of my own. Which I might have pinched from her, but uh, she went and bought 20 of them. I think I've got about six of them. Here you go. Uh. Yeah, that's right. I got the sewing revolution. For, if you don't know what the sewing revolution is, I'll show you. This is the sewing revolution. Very, very clever couple of ladies came out with this. This one, I can do any multiples of two or four. Three on. So I can draw polygons of any number of sides you want. And this one I can do multiples of five and seven on. If you want, I'll give you a demonstration if you want to see it. Um, I started using those when I did textile art and it came over the woodwork quite nicely. So they are really good. Check them out online. SevenRevolution.com.au. And him. I can see the ladies get involved in that one. Oh, I tell you what, that would look quite nice. Yeah. 
No, a little bit of a squeak you hear. It's not the lathe stopping; it's the belt slipping. Well, that's good. That's a safety feature. Yeah. Or, 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 or I might do spring roses like that. That'd be nice. Or I could do that one in there, like that. And for more a reflection of how hard this wood is. Come from west, west in New South Wales. So now that I've taken a little bit more off, I should be able to just up the speed. And as I've always found, the sweet spot for a lot of this turning is about 700 revs a minute. And always, after you've moved, stop the lathe before you move the tool rest, otherwise you have to do a push-up. Only if you're Theo, I don't do that. So don't bother <laughs> telling me I'm going to make one. <laughs> and... Uh, Always spin your work a full 360 degrees before you turn the lathe on. Well, Theo, good time to do a sit-up now, if you like. Bob's arrived. Oh, yeah. He's a good boy. Look at that on his bed. Oh, dear. I'm on the verge, 694. You just... Isn't that... It's a great speed-setting thing. I love that lathe. I do. Have you? You've got two so revolutions. Each one of different measures. Have you got the extension? Um, <coughs> I'll see if I'll find the extension. I did. I did have the... Yeah, I've got the extension turn, which... Are about that long, so it really you can do huge setups. But they're great, aren't they, Charlotte? They are a good setup. Were you using a roughing gouge? No, no I just think no we, I just no. heard you say you weren't well, going to use no, one. Definitely Neil, not. Neil, you're not listening. He's not using one. Definitely not. He said you should be shot if you're using a roughing gouge. So there you go. You're right. But I admonished no. him anyway. Neil, Neil makes a good point. Now this is the this is the. Hang exactly. on, you want a close-up? It's a yeah, I do. Yeah, there you go. You what you need? Up. We need to set up a shot where it's close up on me and then wider for you. What so, are you saying? I'm fat. No. So yeah, that's that. Just remember, I was telling you about that the other day. It's like nearly a V shape, um, so it's nowhere near. It takes a much smaller cut, um, as opposed to a roughing gouge that Neil was talking about, which is like that, and that's just too big a cut. You put that. It's a spindle roughing gouge, and always remember that that's the correct name. Have a look at the flute on that. It's it's quite it's quite big. It takes too big a cut, and you just rip that straight off. So you never knew, use a roughing gouge, a spindle roughing gouge on bowl work, and it's mainly to do with it's not necessarily bowl work, but when the grain's running across that way. In other words, the trees growing from the base here up that way, then you. Um, you should never use a roughing gouge because you pick it up here. A roughing gouge would just take a monstrous cut. And thank you for your patience, Steve. And uh, it would just it would just break it straight off. Okay, we're right, are yeah, we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Pencils down. That's why. Away. That's why. Watch the water evaporate. Uh, but no, it's all good. Now, Bob, where's your goggles? It does increase the cost, but it increases the efficiency. It's good stuff, Katie. I, I've got friends at French Polish and they don't use it. Um, I think they're wasting their time. They're just using ordinary nepper. So, what do you reckon? 
Definitely dead. Let's go two close up. Yeah, I had a friend once. <laughs> I remember that snake, snake cartoon. Snake was out. Oh, I had a he friend was once, my but, mate, I, yeah. but I ate him. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking there. If I do that one. But I'm thinking of doing it on a cabochon. So I don't know. I'll just draw a. Um, I'll draw a bunch of roses and have a look at that. One. That might look nice too. That would look good if I hadn't laid that up. I would do that. But then I've laid this up. I don't think I. Will it's going to be a pain to put in. Yeah, that, that's another reason why I don't want to turn bowls. Okay. Industrial deafness. Oh, let me try a bunch of roses. I'm taking a shear cut now. at the horizon to see that I'll show you what I'm looking at there you go just trying to get a nice sweet line over the top there let's stop and have a look so yeah that's the oh wow look at that is very good there's no tear out here absolutely perfect but just here there's a bit of tear out there I wonder if a scraper would, would get rid of that let's try the skew as a scraper I don't really like the idea of because you're not going to use a skew yeah no it's a negative rake um, but what's happening is we don't want to push it in too far because you go in you're cutting and then you're not cutting so this will be very interesting No vibration whatsoever. 708. This is why we don't have the feet on then. There you go. And don't make me do a sit up because I moved the camera while the lathe was spinning. Bob's not here anyway. Lathe says, long time since we. No, Ray said, we haven't had a good Bob assisted sit up for a yeah. long time. <laughs> uh. And that's right, I, well there you go, hang on, I've missed half of your comment, Charlotte. Oh, uh, Rose. Uh, oh, there you go, Susan's got an MB4. Um, which is a Janobi quilter, plus, <coughs> plus a couple of brother embroidery machines. So she gets into embroidery, she loves it. What do you embroider, Charlotte? What do you like embroidering? Yeah, still none there, so that's looking 
But I like the way that's going in there. Wow. Yeah. You're happy now. Very much. Maybe I'm a happiness. There's a... <laughs> happiness. <No. laughs> Joyful excitement. There you go. <laughs> that's it. Um, oh, that's a bunch of... We'll get ourselves in trouble banned from YouTube. Just oh, thinking about it. Dear, oh, dear. I'm just... Up a little bit tighter now I, I need to flatten the base and then do that recess for the chuck and then we can play around with the top I think I think and I just might need to move the camera so that go. the legs not in the way I, I could um, let's see I've got that one at 45 degrees now because this has been so hard that's not too bad I don't mind that I might well, I was thinking about it. I, I will sharpen my gouge. On your Tormic, not my Tormic, because I squared my spelling oh, up yeah. the other day. Oh, choices, choices. I don't know. I think that looks quite nice in the corner. That uh, the smaller gouge, this one here, I'll just spin the, I'll just spin the, which way is the easiest way? I'm running out of leaves. No, I think I'll just do this one here. I have, I've made, I've made a decision. I'll see what colour red I've got. Oh look, Steve's moving it, I'm moving it. Oh look, everyone, they're all going to be throwing up. So it's a uh, hole A and it's, uh, it's. P60, protrusion 65 millimetres. Yeah, this, this is a different thing. Here we go. Here we go. What's that? What? I'm just... I'm What's just, the difference? I'm going to show them the difference between a Tormic that a woodworker furniture maker uses <laughs> compared to the stone that a wood turner... Go on, go on. Go close up on your stone. Go on. Yeah, but I sharpened my bands. I sharpened my bandsaw blade. Have a look at the difference. I sharpened my bandsaw blade on mine. And this is why <laughs> Theo is not allowed to use my Tormic. There you go. Did you get that, <laughs> Phil? You happy, Renee? Look, you got a you got a T7 and a T8 up there. There you go. Yeah. The thing is, I'm not saying a word. <laughs> he, he won't let me use his Tormic, so I have to bring my own. Got a brand new stone there. I'd let you have it, only. <laughs> You'd ruin it. Oh dear, that's an interesting shot. How come I'm there? That's... Oh, that's because I'm up there. And they're looking at that. It's all right. Okay. Let me. See. Oh, I've got some beautiful red there too. That's nice. And that's it, three passes and we're done. This is dyed, oh, oh, isn't that nice? Wouldn't that be a nice rose? Pink color, I like that. Not, we might have a pink rose. I was gonna put a red one up there. That is stunning. Stunning, Cheryl. I'll just see if that's, yeah, the camera is just gonna be in the could do a yellow one. Yellow could, rose of Texas. Now I reckon that red. There we go. So now I'm just going to flatten this out. It's a little bit out. So. Red rose. Oh yeah, it's out. Um, and this is going to be hard because it's the outside. It's been dry and you hear it. It'll just go ching, 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 ching. Time to wear the earmuffs. So. It's always a good idea if you can't see where the wood is, just to run the back of the tool along and you can see. And you can hear it. Look at that, you're on full. Yep. Oh, I'm full. You're on, that's it. You have stolen the line lock. Well, it's about time you got around to doing it. <laughs> hey, keep your chips over your side. I don't want them over here. Look at that. Hey, get all over oh, my work. Put up with. WC Fields never work with animals, children, or wood turners. <laughs> oh, I like that. I think it
So what I've done is I've gone down under the surface. Made the world a difference. Hey, well, let's catch up on chat while we can still hear. What? Look at that. I started to, I you what? I turned it up. What's this? The little lady just starts to walk. <laughs> it's close up. It's automatic close up. Oh, that's uh, so funny. Oh, now the camera's too close. Oh, God. Um, okay. No, that's looking pretty good. A little bit wider here. Eating Thursday is an easier way. Fan saw it in shape. Well, I'm missing something. The lad goes, no, that's the easy way. This is much more fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, then you wouldn't, have to, you wouldn't have to, they wouldn't have to wear their helmets at home. Their that's face it. shields at home. That's it. I'm with you, Eaton. I, I've never done a bowl and it's not on my bucket list, I'll tell you. Ray's pushing for you to do a push-up. Yeah, good on you, Ray. <laughs> he never misses me. This is Ray. Ray, um, you explained the chisels whilst the legs were still running. I think you should do a push-up. Push and Laz goes, no, only if Bob's in the shed, otherwise it's wasted. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. How good is that? Steve? Hey, James, how are you? Welcome to the workshop and the mayhem. Open roads without the stand would send it off. I'm with you, Kraken. I think the open roads is the way to go. Can you have the rose angled on the top and flow over the edge? Yeah, I can, but I'm not going to. Because... <laughs> This is ebony and it's as hard as, and it's, it, 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 can you say that twice? I, I can't put my teeth back in. It is as hard as, as expensive as, if I hadn't already laid this on the box, yeah, I'd have a crack at doing it, but once it's on the box, um, your choices are limited. So that's what I'll do, but that, that would look nice. I might do that later on. Katie, I can't say the grain. Alcohol is technically better for making shellac, but it's definitely better if you decide to add a bit of shellac to your soft drink. I, I tried the other one once. Oh, it was in the old days when I, was, I had a late job and I had a, a stubby of beer or a bottle of beer next to me, <laughs> next to the French polish I was using, and I was so tired, I grabbed the French polish and took a sweet. And, oh, not nice. And then the next time I picked my beer up and I... Put it all over my French polishing rubber. Then I thought it was time to go inside because I was tired. Um, what used to be my main hobby until I was used to wood turn Oh, you're one of the wood... Oh, there you go, Gold Coast wood turners. Oh, yeah? Um, one of Charlotte's mop. And it is Charlotte. You oh. So, I tell you, he doesn't listen, does he? Oh, come on. <laughs> huh? Oh dear. Yeah, I'm going to angle the design and I'm going to have it down the bottom, I think. What's this happening? The Tormac looks as old as mine. I think the yeah, Theo does have a T8, but he's got a T7 as well, and that was his T7. Mine's a T8. Yellow and pink would look nice on the ebony. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. It, it does look nice, I don't know. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? Uh, how can you sharpen on that there? That's terrible. Why don't you true it up? Yeah, that way. Neil, now you know why I won't let him use mine. Do you think of? Oh, Roy. Well, thank you for your company, mate. I hope you're feeling good. I hope to catch up with you again soon. If not, flick me an email say good day. Anyone else wants to email me? I'm at admin. What am I? Admin at woodworkingmasterclass.com.au 
And Theo is... What's your email address? About I don't want that. to talk to you. Theo, About that. Theo, Theo. At woodturner. Theo at woodturner.com.au. There you go. See you, Roy. Oh, thanks, Ray. All right. Now, I'm looking... Oh, look, I love this pink. This is a gorgeous pink. Is that your Fenneman side coming through? It is. It's all about that. I'm identifying with my Fenneman side. I don't look, I really... I think, I think whoever said pink and... That is nice. I, I pink and blue and primrose too? Now, I reckon that pink... That pink would look nice. Oh, I should, look at that. I should ring Theo up and say, what do you want? No, I'll go pink. That's it. I've made the decision. We had some astersions growing in the front yard. Oh. What? All right, we're going pink and green. And I'll use Queensland Walnut. 85. That's it. Four. That's the line. It's the rarest rock and horse business, this colour in it. Oh, actually, that's. I, need I to can do, do all that in coloured veneer. I might do that. What what green for the leaves? I might. I might have two different greens. Stop the lathe before you move the camera. <laughs> it's meant to, it. No, that doesn't mean press the stop button. Gee, that's a nice bit. I don't know. I'm narrowing it down. Okay, we've decided we're going for the open rows. Actually, if I could get a nice... What was that? It was my ruler. Mm. Mine's Queen Elizabeth. Who's yours? I got asked that once. You got a ruler? I said, yep. Queen of England. Queen of England. Oh, she's Queen of Australia too, isn't she? Oh, look, you can blow through the face shield. <laughs> well, that's oh, I like it. I'm going to wear one of these for a now. Oh, this is just brilliant. When you start turning, you just forget about it. So, oh, you can't drink that. I was out. I was no, out in the bush. Push coffee through it. No, I was out in the bush the other day. I can do with a coffee. Getting jacket off. Getting some blue gum from a blacksmithing um, shed. Turn into charcoal. And I had my grandson out there with me, and he said, "Oh, you want a drink, Papa?" I said, "Yeah, darling." And he threw me a bottle of water. And I took the cap off. I had the mask on like Theo's got with the headgear. <laughs> and hit the screen. And then went everywhere. And he just laughed at me. Get some more veneer. I'll be back. See ya. Look at that. Oh, that's a good shot, Theo. Oh, there. looks like you got dandruff. No, no, it's all right, mate. I'll manage it. It's all right. Good on Sometimes the point of your parting tool just needs a bit of work. Just lost its edge. And we'll do this the same as what we did the other day. For those of you that are watching my stream last Friday, I'm I'm just going I'm just going to excuse myself because I've got to go up to see what Susie wants. I'll be back, but you got fear. Yeah, there well, you go. It's yours. I shall return. Just going to clean this up. That seems to be deep enough. And I can get my baby skew in there, so that'll be fine to tidy that up. And, and I'm, I'm going to do... Um, 
Because if we, we can get some serious turning done. There is a uh, dovetail in here, so I'm going to match that little bit of a taper on the inside of that. So I'm sorry I can't watch the chat. I can't, well, I could sneak over and read the chat. So I'll just take this off. And this can be just hollowed out a little. Just remember to progress very slowly here because of the, the wood is travelling quite slowly. So with that, the lathe set in that middle torque setting, it'll still go up to about 1800 revs. Um, but I'm impressed that I haven't, there hasn't been an issue with torque. Dovetail, I should be able to go down in here. Well, only just. So I'll bring the tool rest up. In fact, what I can do is just, oh, and that's what I was planning on doing, is just rounding that off slightly. I can do that with this. Oh, this, this little bowl gouge is just absolutely gorgeous. It's a 3 8 10 mil bowl gouge. And the reason why it's called a bowl gouge is that it really is just a deep fluted gouge as opposed to this other one, which is a shallow gouge. The flute is this part here that's hollowed out. So that's a shallow gouge and that's a deep gouge. Uh, they're both 3 8 or 10 mil. But for this cut, uh, it's much better to use the bowl gouge. I could use the larger bowl gouge, but I'll just show you how this one works. It just makes it look a little bit more tidy. Just about there, just a smidge off a catch. It would have been easy to get a catch right there if I would have kept going. Now, for the dovetail, again, I'll come up. I want the tool to be on centre. There she is there. Mm -hmm. I think that's the centre there. Where's the centre? Yep. And I'm going to just dovetail this. You could probably see, I oh don't know, you won't be able to see it happening on the other end, but and I can get a nice flat across there, which is where that's going to be what's called the seat. That's where the pencil mark's still there, or I've taken it off. The other thing was just in here where I stopped, it needs to be tidied up. And it doesn't hurt to have a little groove in there. That should do. I could probably scrape this as well with it. important we just drop a ruler I've run out of room in my rack I drop a ruler across here to make sure that that's pretty flat on the outside and that's yeah we're good 
So that's ready to be reversed now. And you can see we had Steve's metho. Oh, he's got something in the bottle here, but you're never going to spray it, are you? Not, not around Steve. What is it? I'll just spray it in the air. looks like water but you get a, a, a sense of what the burl will look like yeah it's gonna come up nice well that's the underneath we'll just see what the top comes out like but yeah don't worry about the cracks and uh, there is a little bit of a mark just there which I'm not happy with so I'm just gonna round that off and again I might use the larger skew I'll have a quick look at the chat. It doesn't look like there's anything happening. Ah, oh. yeah, Trevor, you've got a three eighth inch Vic Mark bowl gouge, yeah. Oh, they don't make them anymore, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, into, he's into the bigger stuff. And Roy's headed off. And yeah, Roy Wren, he, he's gone. And they're still talking about Steve's colours. I'm getting a bit of spray here. I prefer not to have any sharp corners here because they only get hit. never try and slow the work down there's a little bit of tear out just there as well a little bit of a turning mark wait till it stops Best uses for uses uses for uses of so it's too late to do it later, so never too late there's always the power sander but if you can avoid using it now there is seems to be a line right through the middle right there yeah. just a scary of it left there one day I'm going to turn a regular bowl <laughs> it will just be so easy um, compared to turning wood with grain going every which way But I, I just think these projects are just a lot more fun. Uh, as well, you're doing a collaboration with nature. You really don't know um, what you're going to end up with until until the lathe stops. And uh, yeah, no, it's just brilliant. For those of you that might have just come on board, I'll just give that one quick spray so you can see what it's going to look like. Yeah, it, the colour doesn't come up a lot, but it is beautiful. So, um, and as Neil said the other day, and I remember your words, Neil. By sensei is you should check that your chuck fits before you take it off the lathe. Uh, 
I love you, see. Oh, Oh, that's looking good. Oh, are you happy with it? Oh, yeah. Have a look, Steve. Oh, what? Is, hey, Steve, look, is, is this water or acetone or white vinegar? <laughs> no, it's water. <laughs> it's, a, like, it's, like, it's like the guy that came across. No, I won't tell you the joke. But yeah, I was just giving a, an idea of what, what she's going to look like. It's like nice. Pretty. Yeah. Jeez, that's nice timber, isn't it? Yeah, it is. There you go. Mm, you like that? Well, I, I do. I do. Is that what you got to gouge all this? No, no, no. That's I'm going to mount that on the chuck and I'm going to turn oh, the bowl. Oh, you go. Oh, okay. Idea. But I wanted to make it all pretty in the bottom, even though it's for Bob. Here, that Bob, you got a pretty bottom. Oh, have a look at him. Theo oh, knows that uh, because he's been up there on set. Have, oh, I can't show you. Yes, he can. Go on, oh, flick it around. He's, God, he's just look at him. Hey, uh, good he's, boy, Bob. Yeah, you don't talk to him. Now you see, <laughs> he's peaceful, and you got to rouse him up again. Oh, you're a good boy. Oh, you're a good boy. All right, let's get into this. I'm, I'm just. Yeah, it must be time to do a sit up. I'm going to see if I can sneak a push up in. I do. I'll push up. I might do two. Just to make uh, for the one I'm gonna for the mistake I'm gonna make in the future. I really don't oh, know. look at that! That just goes on so nicely. I'm pretty sure that. I What's just, your hourly rate again? I, I just I don't know whether to do a pink rose or a red rose. Oh, Steve, I, I'm having conniptions here. This is just so good. Look at that! What a perfect fit. And again. Boys and girls, when you're looking at the sort of crack that's like right through there, the Mom's last thing, boys and girls. Let's the go. last thing you want to do, you see that crack that you can't see? Well, oh look, oh that's better. I just turned the camera, but it didn't make any difference. Hey, wait a there you go. Okay, there to see. Yeah, there's the. I just have to. Yeah. Are you going to use? Yeah. Aren't you going to hit your tools so, using that? So part? I'm using. What? Are you going to be turning that chuck? No, and I'm going to just about to reverse oh, it. Oh, you're going to put the, 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 um, yeah, reverse it. The, the dog end into it. Yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah, oh. mate. But I thought I'd mount the chuck anyway, like beforehand, because you can. This now, is true. remember the, the thing with these, um, I, I'll just bring this over, and this is this, uh, this is what I really like about, um, record power. They, they do put safety, um, first and foremost. And, uh, oh, I think I'm with you, Sharp, but and, I like the pink. And, and, Sorry. And on. one of the things they've got is this screw here for lifting up the head. They've got it so you need a Phillips screwdriver so kids can't get in there and put their fingers in it just in case they raid your workshop. But this grub screw here is brilliant because it means that if you stop the lathe suddenly, it won't keep spinning. Uh, the wood won't keep spinning and it locks the face plate onto the lathe. Very, very thoughtful. And so I use it every chance I get. Is it doesn't matter how long you've been doing it, sometimes wood is unpredictable at times, and sometimes I'm unpredictable depending on uh, what state of mind I'm in. There we go. I'm, I'm with you, Charlotte. I reckon red. Oh, that's what I'm looking here. Hang on, I'm going to get. I'll just see if this will take the screws out. Let's have a. Where are we? We're, we're double close up. There you go. Look at that. There's one. Oh, decisions, decisions, Two. decisions. Three. No, that one's out. I love that pink. And you wanted to give me trouble. Self fulfilling prophecy, is it? <sighs> and breathe. Gee, I don't know. I don't know, B1. Where's your squirt bottle? Does it work? Change the camera. Well, could be the... Yeah, I'm going to change it back again. In a minute. Yeah, there it is. So now I can... Yeah, no, I think the red's... And even the... this chuck the has a grub screw down through there somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's right there. There it is. Okay. There it is there, that, that grub screw there, so I can, and it just goes into this groove, just down into there, there's a groove, and again, blowing through the face shield, I don't feel like an idiot now, I usually do that and feel like an idiot, 
You can still feel like an idiot, so but with a different shield the, on. That's this all. is the SC four watch chuck with a one hundred millimeter jaws on it. I'm getting mine in August. They tell me. And this, by the way, I should show you this thumb thing. This thumb thing that's happening. That is when I was cleaning the fish about three weeks ago. I end up sticking the spine straight into my. So uh, you. You've had that band-aid on for and three no, weeks. No, no, I tried. You grub. I, I went up to the shed last night, got the scalpel, sprayed it with metho, and then tried to dig it out. It didn't work. <laughs> DAA, that's what you need, a bit of DAA. Uh, the thing with, with veneer... What's a, what's, a, what's a good drawing ointment? Don't say a pencil. Uh, magnanese, isn't it? Isn't it, isn't it uh, magnum something or other? Is it? Susie will tell you. Or a sharp pocket knife does it. Mag uh, was it magnesium? Milk of magnesia? No, this is... There, no. Nah. Sharp pocket knife, that'll do. Um, yeah, with veneer, you can bend it one or two ways. You can bend it the right way, the wrong way. There you go. No, that's wrong. Come over to me for a minute. There we go. It'll bend easily that way, which is the right way. It's hard to bend that way. So that is the way that's going to be the top. That's going to be the bottom because that's where the broken fibres are. So what I do is just scribble down the back side like that. So when I've got small pieces, it's got a bit of pencil on it, I know it's going to go down. And the reason for that is if you're doing a large marquetry job and you get some of the downside up by mistake, the depending where you're born, it's either cut toys Shit toys uh, or shiny bits. Shit toys. <laughs> um, will be out, and there's nothing worse. I've seen it with diamond patterns. Someone will do something like this. This style of pattern here. Where are we? There we go. That style of pattern, and they've got one bit out, and when they go like that, it just goes dull when everything else is shiny, and then it gets shiny when everything else is dull. And it is so disappointing when it happens. So try to remember that. Pencil side on the downside. So what I'm going to do now is, I think, put this design on a waist. So there's several ways you can do this. You can do a straight cut, which means I put the grain, the grain direction on all these petals and then cut them out individually then join them together or well, what I'm going to do this is called the window method I'm going to transfer this onto a piece of waste of veneer that's chili and myrtle and then I'm going to use the waste of veneer to act as a template for the petals I'm going to be cutting out so there you go it's taken both of us a long time to get around to actually do anything today have you noticed that I think we need a coffee. Are you talking on behalf of yourself? I'm talking on the behalf of myself and my friend. Now, it's up to you to decide if you want to be my friend or not. Bob's my friend. I'm just going to taper this. Why is he lying over there and not on his bed? That's not a lion, it's a dog. There's one main thing that's stopping him from being the lion. Coming behind. Yeah, yeah. No loud noises. Coming back again. Oh, you can't have everything. The market pretty box. What have we got? What have we got? Well, there was. Paul says he's enjoying watching the development of the bowl. That's good. 
Trevor said he's got a 3.8 big mark bulk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't make them anymore. I read that before, yeah. Ebony Red Rose has decided that. Just showing what sort of symbol are you turning? It's called um, Yellow Box Burl. Malcolm? A yellow box, but it's a burl. Magnaplasm, that's the stuff I was thinking of, Trevor. Yeah, magnaplasm, that's what you want to get. Get some of that in here. So I've changed to my spindle gouge. Oh, you can't see. What do you want me to? Yeah, go on, you big girl. Swing it around. Yeah. There you go, you like that shot? That's good. I want to get a bit of indent in here. Stylus what I use is just a pen in a piece of ebony, but it doesn't have to be ebony. Anything you like, and I'm just going to trace this onto. I don't think that was that round. This waist. No, it's not round. That's why it's kicking. Well, that's okay. So what I want, I want to go a little bit deeper there. I'm good here. I'll just cool. bring the camera around so you can see the effect. It's a bit like a money bag effect. That's bad. No, it's a money bag. Okay. That's shocking, I can't see the drawing. So I'm going to do a bit more of a taper. Take this belly out, this belly that's sticking out, out and go in a bit deeper. Uh, I think it'll uh, be really nice. That's better. I could, I could, for my part, I couldn't see this design on the back of the carbon paper, it was getting lost, so I'm just putting a bit of paper over the top of the carbon paper so I can see this design. I get a catch this wing catching oh catching on that surface don't point your fingers don't wave your fingers around Theo or you'll be able to count to nine with both hands It's a half inch, a 12 millimetre. That's better. So this is going to go deeper now. So you can see what I'm, what I'm. Now I've got that line. It's a lot deeper. 
and it just catches there which is what I was looking for nearly goes all the way around yeah maybe just a fraction more okay because that will be consistent then let's There's arise a bit of a bulge there we'll take that out and I'll wait. I'll wait until he's finished with his bowl. I've finished talking. You finished? That's the row. So now I'm going to cut these pieces out and lay the veneer underneath, which is going to give me the shapes that I'm looking for. So here goes. The blade I use, um, standard knife. This is a 10109 that I don't make anymore. However. The English Stanley pocket knife takes the same blade. And the blades are 5901. That was a catch. There you go. 5901s. It's a lovely blade to use. I'll start with the rows, I think, and I'll start at the bottom here. So it doesn't matter how bad the lines are, just got to cut the right shape out. Then we can put the leaves on later on. This waste I'm using is chili and myrtle, and it is lovely. It just cuts so nicely. As if you try something like uh, jarra, it's a little bit harder. Poplar is another good one. It, it um, cuts really nice and easily. That wasn't going to fit in there. <clears throat> Try a little bit of a shear scraping here. Then it's a short grain, so come back this way. So I go in with a push cut and come out with a pull cut. Now what I do is grab this and work out where I want it. I could, I don't know, I could do pink on that. I don't know. No, I think we'll stick with the red. So I want the grain to be going the same way. So in this case it's straight up and down. And you put it in like that. Place yep. it there. I just need to just true this up. And I'll just go and get some sticky tape while Theo's not doing anything. Oh, oh that smell reminds me of Texas. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, we're out in the bush. Oh, we're out in the bush. He's the boy from the bush and he's back in town. Oh, I reckon that deserves a sit-up. Accidentally just turned... How did I turn the lathe on just then? I don't know, but I think you covered it up. I just leaned on it and it started. It's definitely a push-up. Why, for you leaning or...? I leaned. Uh, I just had thoughts of moving the tool rest. Thoughts of that moving? That should be half a... Without stopping the lathe, so that should be. Hard. I, I moved hard it the other up. day, and nothing happened. <laughs> yeah. And I did it a hundred times to see if anything had happened. All right, now I'm just going to cut this out, so we'll get this part of the row. Good thing about this method is. 
really need a light. You've got the wall of the veneer behind you to give you a bit of a, a support. Actually, I might go and get a light. There, oh, yeah. What? A, a Theo Delight. No, oh, I tell you what, their coffee's tasting good. Sarah's <laughs> oh, not going to be there today. Sarah, no? Why? Peter's going to be there. Who? Peter. Isn't that the name? The husband? No. Oh, the David. The Peter, the girl. P E P A. You can always come back and just. I'm just. Here we go, look at that. Do we have to go to both coffee shops this time? No, we'll just go to one. Yeah. Go to Mondays. Because I really need to get back. I've got to email my list of things to demonstrate. Oh, Ray. What's Ray doing? Well, I was just going to ask him, is there anything in particular he wants me to demonstrate? Yes, yeah, sit up. Hang on, hang on, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting heaps of people are talking to us now. Oh, my God. So I go out to the mailbox to check the post and the bloke in the truck just ran over my garden rabbit. Oh, how good's that? Your garden what? That's a bit, that's a bit. He's got a garden sad. rabbit. Oh, now where have we got up to? Well, Hang on, let me press well, my button so I can talk to him because it's nicer then. Was it rabbit? Ah, oh, enjoying the bowl of the better, road rose. What sort of wood do you turn? Magnoplasm, that's where we got up. Um... Oh, ichthamol. Ichthamol is the best drawing ointment. There you go, Brian says. Thank you, Brian. It's yellow box, Burl, Mel, we couldn't have. What ich, name is it what, down under? Uh, what, what, what name is it? Ah, time. Nearly midday. In 10 seconds, it will be three minutes to midday. Ichthamol. David? Um... Really? Yeah, I'm having lunch soon. Oh, there you go. Lazy, you really haven't been to my singer for lunch. So I go, oh, we just ended. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Lazy, that's shocking. That'll do. So turn the speed of the lathe down. Oh, he ran over a real rabbit. Oh, that's a bit wrong. That's very wrong. He had a little rabbit in the garden with blood red eyes. Oh, no. <laughs> Ah, that's, that's terrible. Well, I hope the kids aren't involved and they're not upset. That's shocking. Did he know he ran over him? We should have a minute's silence. Yeah, no, grandchildren. I, I'm like that here, I don't... What was his name, the rabbit? I don't know. Peter? Um, yeah, I like it. I've got a, not a huge backyard, but I've got a bit here and we get a lot of birds and... That sometimes oh, we have had kangaroos in the back. A couple of um, couple of wallabies are in the back once. I've seen them next door. What are you doing there? I'm just drilling a hole so so I know how deep to go when, before I stop. Oh, okay. But I didn't want to tell anybody because I'm still recovering from the sadness. Of oh, there you go. Yeah, look, and if you ride a bicycle, you don't even pay taxes, and you think you own the road. Oh, I'm not starting that argument. Uh, I'm with you, Katie. There's a push-up. I didn't spin the work before I started the lathe. That's two. Two and a half. Might as well make it three. Oh, this isn't going to help. I'll let you do the camera work, Steve. Oh. Oh, I've got to do three push-ups. Why? No one's no. caught you. No, no one's called you. I'm going to do it before they catch me. Ah. Well, we'll just go to my shot. We'll see. <laughs> He's kissing the floor. Oh, I'm going to do zero, one for, the, for next time. So you're saying you used to be fitter when you were a oh. worse turner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, oh yeah, we got drop bears. Don't know. We've got drop bears here. Yeah, no, I got to re that, that'll, <laughs> that'll reinforce the um, the lesson. It's so important. Oh, that's good. Yeah, just tell him he went away. That's yeah, that's good. Theo, what to do? Wait well, on, Theo, what to you eyeball when you're running the level over this? 
Oh, what are you eyeballing when you're running the bevel of the cutting tool? What are you looking at when you run the bevel of the cutting tool over the bowl? Hey, Stephen, how are you? Well, it's it's actually the heel. You got to you got to make sure that you hit the heel first. And if you want to be a good turner, I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean. You rub the heel first, nothing happens. Oh, you see the close up? Oh, wait a minute. There you go. So, hang on. No, look. no, no. Look at the close up. It's shocking. Oh, okay. That's it. The way to get a catch is to put the, the tool like that straight in and you'll get a catch. Always rub the heel first. Then what I usually do is move the tool as I tilt as I tilt the point over until the shaving starts. But what I'm doing is moving forward as well and that way you don't actually start, if you follow to just start like that, start a cutting, you immediately see a groove. Whereas if you're moving the tool as you're tilting it over, you hardly see where it starts. And that's a good lesson to learn so that you can finesse your turnings. Otherwise, so heel, and then watch until the shavings start. As soon as those shavings start, you've got enough depth of cut. No, I don't know if that answers your question or not. And then I take my, once I start the cut, I take, usually if it's, particularly if it's on the side, I will ta then take my eye away from the tool and look at the horizon where I can see the depth of cut and see it whether... It was a it's, simple question. See whether I need to rotate it. the tool more or less. To, watch this, if I rotate the tool, once I start a cut, if I rotate the tool, it increases the depth of cut. If I bring it back, it reduces the depth of cut. So it's the rotation that gives you the depth. So I don't know if that answers it or not. Probably not. But anyway. Um... See, Steve's not Brian interested. Brian said you can't count. He's up to five push-ups. <laughs> but I'm not into what? Bowl turning, so... No, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. going by one. Oh. oh, I'm in the go. I'm going to make as much noise as possible so you can... Oh, there you go. It did answer his question. Oh. Well, I, sh I'll, I should do a push-up, and I will one day. <laughs> Good on you. Dad, <laughs> thanks, Dave. Oh, dear. They're getting nothing but shavings at home. I hope you got your face shields on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put one on in a minute. I'm getting snotted. I'm gonna take my face, uh, my tail stock off. Oh no, you've got the bolt underneath, so I can't take it off. Oh, well, I'm so, it's all right. Sorry. That's okay. It's a safety thing. They have well, a bolt, I wouldn't have so put you, it on so if I knew it was You a can't pull thing. the tail stock off. I'll just pull back out of the road. Oh, oh! I'm a goose. I'm a loose goose. You, you, you're looking for a vote on that? <laughs> no, no, no. One if he's a goose, two if he's oh, <laughs> The tar stock was in the road. Guess what? <laughs> I forgot. It's a pivoting lathe, boys and girls. So I can just pivot the lathe and then stand. And that will do. I need to pivot it that much. That's why I had to get the same as Theo so he didn't have to be retrained on a lathe. What's the difference between my lathe and your lathe? Uh, there shouldn't be any difference at all. Yeah, you can see the floor under my lathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gonna, that's, uh, no. That should be a lot easier. It's all good. It's easy anyway. Well, now I'll just bring the camera around. Fold the legs. Bring the camera. Everybody close your eyes. And it still it won't be in the way. Where's, where, where's the... Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, wow. This is where the magic all happens, isn't it? Oh, it's very much excited. 
let's see, I should, I've turned the speed down, I'm standing to the side, I'm just going to bring the speed up, not that far, we're at 737 which is good. And you're on the middle range of the pulleys? Yep, got heaps of torque. Sometimes you have to go up. Oh. Every so often we get a bit of simple harmonic motion. It just vibrates the... Must have been growing in sand, Steve. I think so. Yeah. Have you been out there? Yeah. Because it's really uh, taken its toll on the t on the edge of the tool. Just need to. Mm -hmm. Now this takes a lot longer than doing a dog bowl, obviously. But you don't rush it. You just got to take your time and let the knife do the cutting. <laughs> if I put it all the way around. Oh. So you sweep upwards to keep the bubble running. Just about there we get that simple harmonic motion. If I change the speed of the lathe, we get it. Now one of the things that you can look at, it's really important to notice this. Have a look. The tool is sitting on the tool rest here. If, if I was able to move this post so it was central to there, that's a much stronger position right over the top of the tool post. And remember to rotate the work 360 degrees. Can bring that speed up now. You're getting a better view than I am because of the, the light adjustment. going to do now is change from the 45 degrees which is the black one to the red one which is 55 degrees I'll try the, the thicker so this angle here is 55 degrees from the horizontal it allows you to get into the bottom of the bowl easier See there the drill marks gone and I just need to go a bit thinner here. Right. I need to do that with the 45er. Well she's getting 45er, I've just taped that in at the back and now I've got to cut the next bit out and we'll start you'll see it's starting to come together. If I didn't have shavings all over the bench it'd have been good. Just 
just as I start to get that vibration, I'll switch to the smaller 55. What I'm doing there is drawing the line of the grinding to the flower, and I'll adjust the timber. I'll adjust the timber I'll stop to the orientation work. of the grain I've got in there. All right, commence again. ways of avoiding any sort of vibration and it is is by taking finer cuts and this is what I meant you rub the heel I'm moving the tool and then engage it and you just keep going until you see light I can actually tell by the sound that I'm pretty deep. So this is the rule of thumb. You love this, Steve. You stick your thumb in there like that and you put your finger there and then you do that. Can you see that? I can't. Oh, you yeah, that's completely stuffed to you now, isn't it? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Oh, I just timed out. It timed out? Oh, okay, yeah, because of the... The dihedral angle of the hypotenuse across yeah, the lateral periphery. So they haven't missed a thing. It's just, oh, it's what, just we, what, monitor. Yeah. what we see, they see, we didn't see, but they can see yeah. what we didn't see because we did it. Oh, actually, it's not a bad line through there. Um, I actually just, I, it just follows a nice sweep. I'm going to try the big gouge, the big, the big red one, the big 55. B55. I'll get this tool rest a little bit closer. Okay, I'm happy with that. So that's. Hmm. I wanna. Yeah, I need to take it a bit wider here. I just think that's a little bit too chunky. So we we'll see, he's looking at these chunky wide bits. I've just taken that leaf out. The grain orientation is that way, so I'll get this in there and put it so we've got the grain orientation the right way. Maybe I'll pop that there. Come across this way. I think I'll tape that on the back. wider tool. I do like doing this method because you can get precise. There's other ways you can do it. As I said, you can cut from the top or you can do a reverse. But um, for this exercise, this no, is quite good. nice. All right, Theo, have a chat. Yeah, that's... Uh, 
Ophelia. Ophelia, Ophelia really good. Uh, so I'm going to do some scraping now. Scraping? And always. A... I thought you were against scraping. You give me a hard no, time for to, scraping. Just to finesse it. Oh, to finesse. Oh, okay. I'll remember that. Next time I'm scraping with my skill, I'll tell you I'm finessing. Finessing, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not on spindle work. Oh, dear. He's talking spindle work. No, 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 no. Spindle work's just a flat bowl. But hey, um, this face shield doesn't stop the dust getting through, I just realised. So I'm pointing downhill, so if it bites too far, it just kicks back. That's not really helping you, is it? I'm just going to stop the lathe and move the camera. Wait till it stops spinning, boys and girls. This can be. We can come right over here. Maybe this might help. You get a better view. And down in there, that's probably a bit too close. Switch the leg over. There we go. I always want you to take the ride with me. There we go, there's another bit. So we'll take that out. Hey, who would have thought you'd be doing wood turning and marquetry in one screen? We're trendsetters, mate. We're trendsetters. Oh, yeah. Look. Catchy trendsetters. Now, what's happening is I'm still... I'm, even though I've got the tool up above, I'm still cutting lower than the centre. If you go up above centre, then if it bites, it just kicks it out of the way rather than... Oh, that's smooth. Oh. Guess what? I don't think I have to do anything. One last cut. All right. And this is where it always wants to buy. It's a matter of taking a fine Come up cut. And do this one here. They say it won't look all that spectacular just with the red. But when it's been shaded, it'll give it that depth of feel that we're looking for. A bit like Theo's bowl, it's got to have depth. You like that? I'm yeah, crossed yeah. Over. That, that was clever. Mate, that was, that no, was, that, that was that was just spontaneous, yeah. waxing lyrical. So, so spontaneous, spontaneous combustion. without ignition. Oh, uh, mate, I'm done. You finished? Oh, I think so. Oh, well, I'll just cut this bit I've out. I've gone a bit thin, thinner here, and I, I, maybe I could take another cut through here. Because it, it, it's you see how it goes from there, and it goes thicker here. Um, so guess what, Steve? I have to take what? another cut. You're going to take another cut? Yeah. Well, I'm not oh, happy. I like to have the same thickness all the way through, so. Well, the tree wasn't the same thickness all the way through. Yeah, I know. But I'm just and you're piking out. You're not going to come to Texas with me. A Texas? Oh, that's only because I... You're going to Western Australia to get away from Where's it. Where's the yeah, tournament? on, yeah. Uh, I just have to... I haven't trued up my stone for a while, but you don't... If you're not doing oh, flat I... blades, you don't have to true up your stone every five minutes. The thing is, uh, I hardly have to true my stone because I... Uh, the only flat well, yeah, we can tell. The only flat we blades I've got are, are really the skew and, and uh, I only go back to the leather. With the, with the skew, um, you know, for about a year I can use the skew without having to go back to the stone. So. It just stays sharp. As I say all the time, it's high speed steel, you're only cutting wood. I've got to have this on number two, that's it. Alright, what's that one going? And your orientation on this one. I'll just cut it out. Spray it up and down so we'll come back to this. There is a bit just there. Let's put that in there. Where all the work was. Yeah. 
I'm just putting that to hold that in place so I can now tape this down at the back. Yes. There's been a bit of a mismatch hodgepodge stream, but I've enjoyed it. It, it was... What we're you not talking even about, recording this one, are we? Mm. There you go. Oh, Hang on, let me catch up on who's, who's still with us. I'm, I'm surprised people are still watching us. Oh, yeah, where are we up to? Goodness gracious, I haven't spoken in ages. Well, uh, nearly forgot you, boys and girls. Stop that boys and girls thing. Hang on. Now, now he only eats carrots with God. Okay, that's the end of that. And then we got on to this. Well, I bring the camera around. David agreed. I have three horses. So I would have to put a stop to that. Uh, there, I've got a, oh, a mini mule. There you go, koalas. Malcolm, where to find the guidelines, please? For what, Malcolm? Guidelines for what? I'm sorry if I missed an earlier thing, but anyway. The only marsupials we have here is a possum. Yeah, drop bears. No, we what got about platy platypus? Steve eye. is coming. Platyply. Platypi. There you go. Impressive. James is impressed because he can barely do one. Okay, here we go. Oh, going well, Steve. I guess we got another number three character. Four dollars. What a bonus! Just a nice spot there, Megan. And Steve says, your are proud. Oh, that's right. Thanks, John. Um, Theo's making a bowl for Bob. <laughs> hey, mate, why not have you to pick the number seven up for free? I'm still looking for him. <laughs> Indeed, lads, it's my first with the frog adjuster under the desk. Yeah, I like I like those. But once they're set, they're set. You don't have to worry about it. Make sure that, um, Steve, when you put your frog adjuster in, that it is actually lined up with the back of the mouth. That way you won't get any curl in your blade. That's another language. Um, <laughs> it's, it's woodworker talk. Oh, Jesus. Ah. <laughs> uh, I thought, you, I thought it was zoology. Now you reckon you've got to be getting close to your V cut soon. What V cut are you talking about? I don't know. What V cut do you want, Neil? I'm thinking of making one iron straight for cutting and smoothing and putting the camera on the other one. Yeah, that's, that's a great idea. I like using number four as a scrub plane. Number threes are a nice smoothing plane, though. Although, thinking about the, what is it, the uh, 40, 42 or 41, the, um, oh, 41. The Stanley Scrub plane's got about the same width as the number three. I've got a Veritas Scrub here. Let's check it out. Let's just have a look. See? Oh, and a Lee Nelson number three. And looky that. Looky that. Look. Same width. Lee Nelson number three, Veritas Scrub Plow. So it's the same width, Stephen. Oh. But I, I generally find if you're using a scrub plane, you just want to get rid of as much material as possible. And if you're not doing a full scrub blade, do what I call a hogging blade, which is uh, this one here. It's just got a camber on it. That's on an old number four footprint. It removes stock pretty rapidly, which is good. Sharp edge for the poor dog drinking it. You've got to have a sharp edge. There you go. There, the bowl does not look like Antarctica or Madagascar. It does have a resemblance to uh, a meteor crater. That, that was last week. Oh, that was older than last week, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I said it looked, the bowl looked like Madagascar, and I think he said it looked like Iceland. Uh, yeah, no, I reckon, actually, Brian, I reckon Bob will chew the bowl. He won't drink out of it. Uh, yeah, we'll just. Do you use it. high glue, boy? David, I use high glues, but not on not on Bob's bowl. <laughs> Up to very recently, and I've been asked by the um, distributors of Tide Bond 
to try their glues. And I've got a big box of oh. their glues over there. There's about 10 different glues. So I'm looking forward to trying those. I'll actually do some videos with different programs. Up until now, yes, I've virtually used high glue exclusively, but I'm, I'm looking forward to finding out what other glues are like. I'll go back to Theo doing that. Not sure why you would have that member at the top of the bowl, wouldn't it? I don't know. Well, Neil, come on down and turn the bowl. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. More the merrier. Uh, that's it. Bob doesn't get. Bob drinks out of the toilet. And that's not even round. No, this is this is. Actually, and that's why you're sitting on it. This is, actually, <laughs> this is actually for Sue to put on the coffee table. Oh, okay. I'm not going to use any sandpaper it's because... It's not for Bob. Because, yeah, because Steve's I'm gonna cleaned die. up the workshop. See you, Paul. Have a good night. Thanks for dropping in, mate. Cheers all the way to Florida. Um, bingo, dingo, and Theo in the shop. How you buddy, mate? We are. We're doing well. We're just about to go and have a coffee break. Oh, I was whoever finished first. We're going to have a coffee, and I think Theo's close to finishing. I am. Do you want to put some oil on it? Yeah, I'm just going to. Well, I haven't, I haven't sanded it mainly because of. You don't want to sand it. No, with respect to your um, your workshop. Tidy In fact, shed. It doesn't need it. It's no, just wax and duver on it. That yeah, you want to show it. Um, you, you, want to, you want to do the finale? Well, we, yeah, we, we put some oil on it. What do you want to put on it? You don't want to put water on it, do you? Well, just to show them. Yeah, but oil will show them. Yeah, is it is it uh, food safe? I don't care. Listen, for anyone that eats what Bob eats, it doesn't matter. Put some um, uh, lathe polish. Yeah, give that a go. See what that comes up like. I don't know what it comes like. Can I have the Liberon ladies coming down next week? Oh, okay. I thought I got. I still haven't put the finish on the bowl from last week. I was going to maybe use some Liberon. Well, that, that's a that's a dream dream beauty. That one that hasn't been. No, it's childproof. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are people so unkind? Oh dear, oh dear. it's awful, isn't it? I had to, I had to um because I've got DWM selling that out. I had to get childproof um, natural edge dog bowl. That is the best. Oh, so there you go, Steve. Well, that, it's a natural that's dog. A natural edge dog bowl. See, it's got the weight around the outside, so he doesn't tip it, and at the same time. I don't think you can put water in it. <laughs> well, we'll just put his dog food in it. Because uh, with a burl, yeah, it's the same. You can't use a vacuum chuck on a burl. Oh, there you go. Have a swig. Have a swig. Get, get into that. Oh. Put your name on him. Oh. What's it doing? Oh, isn't it? Oh, look at that. It's nice. Um, yeah, they do have modern hot glue, Dave. I, I pressed the wrong button there. Um, oh, that's good. They do have modern high glue, but I, and I've got some. Actually, I'll show you what I've got. There we go. Oh, you just changed shots. Did I? No, I'm back to you doing your do, but oh, look at this. Did I show you this last one? Good. Oh, that stuff smells different, doesn't it? Look at this. I've got. Um, Hang on, I'm going to the close-up. Genuine tight bond high glue. Uh, premium glue. Normal glue. And you know the polyurethane one. I've got that at Polyurethane, you say? Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. The big oh, bottle with the black that. Look, little black tip. Polyurethane, I've got that. Where's the lid? Oh, you haven't opened it yet. I've got tight bond number three. Oh, this is sticky. I've got... Wood glue, melamine, non-run. Again, you sorry you asked me. This is me, thick and quick. <laughs> and and these little glue brushes I'm going to try out, and all the spec sheets on it. So that's it. That's my that's my job for the next week and a bit to play with those. And. Um, I might do some reviews and I've got heaps of videos to do but those of you that have been watching for a while know that I'm oh 
in the midst of other projects at the moment, so I've nearly finished my smithy shop. Um, I've had a camera up there, so I might even stream from the smithy shop doing a bit of blacksmithing work, which would be good. I have not been in the shed for two weeks since Theo was here last time, except for yesterday to clean it up. Um, so just... It was nice of him to do that. It and... was. I did it just for Theo. And out of respect, I did not do any sanding today. Oh, that's it. I could do with a little... Ah, oh, right in my... Cut. Mm. That lets you know you're still alive. Uh, I could do with... I might have a brush. A little a little paintbrush. You know, I just want to apply the oil to... There you go. The bark. Oh. You got a brush? Oh, that's a big one. So what I can do is, is maybe just put some oil. I'll get it around all, all the way around the outside first. Lucky we're in, not in a hurry. Actually, that's one of the things I enjoy about the stream. I can finally, I can do some wood turning while nobody's watching. <laughs> no, while people are watching and not have to um, be Maybe mindful of the clock, um, which means that my enjoyment level um, just... I mean, I really enjoy having people on board. There's nothing worse than being... I don't really enjoy being in my workshop alone. Um, so it's good to have people on board, but then it's just good to take you know, your time and... I reckon when we're, when we're working, think about we could actually sell our streams to insomniacs. <laughs> We'd send them to sleep. All right, we're still doing... Still doing so I was, usually I use the back of a coffee cup, but... In this oh, one, look at that. What a shot. That's looking good. Yours isn't too bad either. No, oh, thanks, <laughs> Oops, wrong one. Now I'm still talking. Um, oh, Steve, I've been using candle wax to help keep my things more, oh, move smoother. It works great. You gave me this. Oh, well, that's good, Stephen. I'm pleased. See, my kids don't listen to me, but someone does. That's good. Going to put baby girl to say, have a good night, John. We'll catch you. Oh, we can see me up there. We'll catch you later on. Thanks for dropping in, mate. Martin, great show, guys. Great fun. See ya. Um, first time chatting with you. That's all right. Thanks for picking a lot good of Good on you. Any yeah. questions you That's want good. to know? Good. Between Theo and I, we know everything. <laughs> about nothing. And Theo knows uh, most about <laughs> The more yeah, you learn, anytime. the more there is to learn. That's There's no doubt about that. And the great thing at our age, you get to learn it twice because you've forgotten you learned it earlier on. If Charlotte, if you're still there, yeah, I think this is the right choice. The red rose is going to be beautiful. Charlotte Rose, isn't that her name? I don't know. Mm, it is. Well, it's a middle name. Go. We're making a rose for Charlotte. I don't know rose. how I knew that, but it just came to no, me. Now, this rose is from Marie. It's going to be schmick. You know, people ask. How come it's so expensive? Because it takes time. You can grow time. And I have a... You can. You can. That's rosemary. Um, <laughs> oh, she was regal. You, um... Yeah, you have an hourly rate. And it doesn't matter if you're digging a hole or cutting a leaf. Your value of your time should be the same just because it's a little thing I mean if you're making a, 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 a big bowl or a little bowl it should be the same hourly rate shouldn't it Theo? Yeah in fact a, a small bowl and a big bowl, bowl take about the same amount of time and, and sometimes the smaller bowls are actually more challenging and take longer well, this one's certainly multi-dimensional I call it money bags Looks like a money bag. Uh, give that a chance to... You wait 20 minutes and uh, give it a chance to soak in and then you give it a wipe over. It's not bad considering there was no sandpaper used. So let me just run through the design features. I'll get you to put the lid back on that, Steve. No, oh, it's not no child, it. There's not childproof to put it back on. <laughs> I need to get it off. I can do it. I can do it. So if you, in case you're wondering, it's this is the product multiplier. Lebron. With the child proof. With the Theo proof. 
lid. Oh, I didn't. I, I, you said it. I so it says it says on the instructions, shake well before use. I did that. Apply a generous coat I thought you were using a wood turner safety cloth or brush while the lathe is stationary. A wood turner safety cloth is something like that, not a, not a piece of cloth itself. It's got to be something that tears. You can usually do this on the lathe, but I wouldn't do it with all those spikes coming out. You just lose something. Allow to dry for 10 minutes. Buff at medium to high speed. Apply a second coat if required. Oh, it only takes 10 minutes. I've got to use this more often. Well, yeah. Well, well there you go. Minutes. And well, um, how long did you think it took? Oh, some of the some of the the oils you you need to leave them for quite a, quite a while. That means I could use it at the shows. Well. So, design features. I wanted to keep some natural edge. We just yeah, I wanted to keep some natural edge, but I wanted to make it look like a dog bowl. So what did we do first? We flattened that out so I could put the faceplate on it, turned it, turned the recess here for these super where are the oh there they are there. They're on the lathe, the one hundred millimeter jaws and they fit perfect. In fact, there's hardly any marks in there at all. I could have rounded that edge as well, so you couldn't even tell how it was chucked. I brought this over so it didn't look so um, and this this could be matched as long as the, just by taking that edge off slightly. Oh look at that nice little wormhole through there. Um, but basically that's flat through there, so it will sit flat. And then we've got the looks like a money bag when you draw the string. You could tie a bit of a leather around there. That'll look fantastic. Putting this on a coffee cable with a bit of leather wrapped around there, Steve. Oh, there should be some leather hanging up there on the wall. There you go. And but we've still ended up with the nut keeping some of the when you consider what it looked like before you go how can you get anything out of it uh, we would have been only sort of this way oh I think that broke so we won't use that again so I didn't number the bits when they fell from together you mean that sort of thing oh yeah no, 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 no. Oh, these remind me of the old army boot laces. That's what me. they are. Oh, you are kidding me. The old boot lace. There you go, Steve. Unbelievable. Memories. Ne next thing you know, I'll be smelling raven oil. Oh, I, I remember that too. Oh, I remember that. You don't have any of that here. Gators. Yeah. I've got some brass, though. Maybe you want to smell some brass, though. So you can work out where the front is. And uh, I like the fact that we've still got natural edge around, around the edges as well. That's probably not as pretty as, as that one there. And so you could maybe, oh, look at the bullseye. That's where the, that's the center, that's, that's where the tree that, was growing. That's the where we shot the tree when it fell <laughs> yeah, over. Yeah, 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 but I like that. Um, so that's gonna be the feature. Um, we can, and you, you remember I, I wanted to go deep enough so that we were able to get that rim raised all the way around. So that's what caused me to ch change the shape. So we've got a natural edge all the way around. So I found some sort of symmetry in the, in the, well, maybe we could put the leather here where it's plain. Oh, well, it's the same spot. Well, there you go. Now, for those of you that can tie a bow, I'm thinking, you can tie it down so Bob doesn't run off with it. Oh, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> well, uh, Bob takes what Bob wants. Robbity Bob. I've forgotten how to tie a bow. And, yeah. Tie a bow? That was no, an no. exercise. Isn't that funny? Like I can, I've got to turn it around this way to tie the bow, otherwise I can't do it. It's like tying my shoelaces up. There's a nice burnt orange leather over there, doesn't it? Nice. Oh, yeah. Now it needs to go round the frame. Oh, it will move. There you go. The, the rows are starting to come together. Where are we at? Oh, I'm, still, I'm still talking. We got. So, who thinks it's ugly? <laughs> oh, I think it's lovely. Some people might think it's ugly. Yeah, you can buff that up and give it a Oh, you're time. welcome, Malcolm. I think I've already said that, but you're welcome, Malcolm. Anytime, pop in, say good day. See you, Jared, all the best. Oh, yeah, Charlotte. Oh, I'm still here. Call me Charlie. 
Yeah, good right, on you. There's Charlie. There you go. Whoops, sorry about the cap. That's all right. I'll just yell it. Call me Charlie. There you go. I yell it. Yeah, yeah. winning caps. Um, oh, doesn't that tick you off? What? Uh, the caps. You're writing something and all of a sudden you've, you've written half a book and it's still in caps. Yeah, no, and Control you just... F3. You block it and hit Alt F3 and it changes from caps to lowercase. Did, did you not? Then... Tip of the and week. Tip of the week. Or you go Alt F3 again and it changes the capital of the first letter of each word. All right, so what's Alt that Alt F3 again? in word. Alt? Alt F3. Alt F3 and you go from lo- uppercase to lowercase. Yeah. And well, that was worth the price or, of admission. Or if you've just got a word and you want to capitalise the front, Alt F3 just a couple of times and it'll... Alt F3. Yeah. That's it. Do you mean the F3 up the top? Yeah, button? yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not, so you block not it first. Not F3. It's no, the no, F3 no. button. Alt F3, F3 button. button. Yeah, that's it. So well, there you, you can go. capitalise the lot. There you go. Well, I'm pleased I'll watch this stream. Lowercase. Or just click on the on the main word and you can just Because you used to be able to go up the menu letter. and it would do it. But it's, it's automatic. Yeah, yeah no. Oh, um, what a great idea. Oh, I'm done. Money bags. You're done. You're done yeah. well. It's a weird well, looking I'm just gonna cut bit of... Uh, hopefully out. it creates eye flutter. And... Um, Oh, yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm. The other thing I'm really happy with is the fact that I was able to get this, even this bark here, this thickness Ooh. here. Those of you that have seen me turn bowls, it's really important to get that thickness. You know, I, ba- I, I banged you from turning bowls out of that crow's ass <laughs> yeah, bowl. Yeah, yeah. How many years ago was that? That was a long time ago. That was a long, that was many yeah, videos. I've turned ago. a few bowls since then. In fact, up until that point, I hadn't turned many bowls, Steve. Oh, we were, oh, that was when we were trying out that other brand, which we won't mention. Has 10 minutes gone by yet? I think so. Close enough. It's supposed to buff it. Oh, I had a... oh get Bob. Are you going to have a lick, Bob? We'll do a Warren Buffett. Yeah, but I'd have to I'd have to take the lid off this. Apparently he's Buffet now. He's not Warren Buffett. Oh, really? Warren Buffet. Has he been watching Mrs. Bouquet? I think, I think so, yeah. She's a, she was a classic. We yeah. used to absolutely cackle um, with Mrs. Bouquet. One of the best British comedies oh, ever she was. was. She was more Sheridan! Mm. What are you doing, Scallywag? Uh, and poor old Richard. Richard! He's dead now. Yeah. He died a little while ago. But the, the, the best guy was the guy, Onslow. Onslow. Onslow, I yeah. got to see him. He came out to Australia in a play. Yeah. And it was, it was great. It was yeah. amazing. Actually, Mum and Dad went and saw and him um, in Sydney and they got backstage and, yeah, spent a bit of time with him back in his hotel room. Oh, right. I have to so. take the leather off, Steve. If I'm going to give this another coat. Oh, there you go. We have the not technology. We can put it on again. The not technology. <laughs> well, just watch your stream to see how you did it. I was in, I was in the scouts once. Actually, I learned a lot. And don't forget, the base is the part that gets the most wear, so that's where we should put the most oil. Wouldn't the bottom of the bowl get the most wear with Bob? Yeah, him dragging it around. Oh, the bottom, no, of, the bottom, bottom, bottom of the bowl. The bottom of the Big bloody tongue. <laughs> oh dear. Did I? I didn't say that, Bob. Don't get upset. We gave him the first time ever. Susie gave him we had some leftover curry and bacon that had gone a bit slimy. And she put it in his bowl and it's the first time ever he couldn't finish the bowl. Really? He did. He did within an hour, but not in one sitting. And then he fronts up a tea top. We'll have their tea, yeah? Well, wait a minute. You just had a big lot of food. Yeah, but that was a snack. That wasn't... I still get fed at this time, no matter what I've eaten during the oh day. Oh, God, is he like that, is he? Yeah, uh, like a good. clock. Got a creature of habit. You can't. Well, I've reset my body clock, and I wake up now at 5 in the morning and go and sit in the pool at 16 degree temperature. See, I reset my body clock. I wake up at half past 7 and have a coffee. Oh. 7.30. There you go. It's starting to come together. I won't do any more because Theo's finished, so that's it. Um, but I'll burn shadows in here. So next time you see it, hopefully it's going to be in the box and looking wonderfulness. 
Ah, dear. Theo, have you finished the Golden Sphere that Neil gave you? No, no, it's still sitting no. there waiting for the appropriate moment. Ty, Ty and Noose, there you go. That's uh, my son-in-law is crazy. Andreas just loves, he keeps sending me um, photos and links to people who do a lot of the work um, with the epoxy and two packs. And, yeah, yeah. And he just he said, "Let's do it." He wants to come well, over. I got some there. Play. I got I got casting resin up there. Yeah. And I got all the brasses and coppers and turquoise and there you go. I've, I've actually a mate of mine, Terry Terry Lewis, actually he brought over all the resins, all the colours, and uh, all these pen moulds because he wanted me to. All right. He wanted me to do it, so I might do it on a stream one. Well, well maybe I should go. practice first, but it's always better to be um, have a bit more experience under your. No, belt it's you not. It's fun something. failing live. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've had good results. We do that all the time. Oh, I'll give it a go, Derek. I think I'll go on to this one. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying them out. Um, I'm going to make a chopping board Is out that, of one of them. The Derek Lark. Yeah. Good on you, Derek. Um, and yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. I've just got to get all this other stuff done. Katie loved keeping up appearances. Yeah, it was good. Last summer, wine was the best British coffee. Oh, I couldn't get into that one, Trevor. Um, what was that other one that was good? Um, something and Horses. Something and Horses was, was good. Oh, my favourite one was um, Good Night Sweetheart, where that guy had a time warp. And he was going between London in the 1980s and war-torn London in the 40s. And he, he married a girl in both time zones. Oh, jeez, it was good. And then he met his son. <laughs> it, was, it was weird. Anyway. The great part about being at Steve's is when you use a paintbrush, you can and just you can go... Pass it, pass it through. We, we put it through. Hang on. We'll, we'll get a hole in the... Uh, oh, there it goes. Um, what's that? Oh, they just terps will clean that out, won't it? I'll do that now. Uh, have a, uh, I'm still catching Have up. a look at me band-aid. Don't put the leather back on it. Looks much nicer without it. Okay. There you go. Right, oh, Charlie, he's been told. Are you Are you being served? Yeah, that was good too. Are you free? <laughs> I'm free, Mrs. What was, it? what was her name? Mrs. S uh, Smidgen or Slo Slocum. I'm free, Mrs. Slocum. Oh, uh, dear, dear. How do you recess the veneers into the box, Steve? Um, I just, when it's finished, mate, I put it on there, draw it around, and then cut down whatever the thickness of the veneer is. In this case, it's about 0.7, I'd say. Just recess it in, um, and away you go. Then I'm going to French polish it, so I'll most likely uh, grain fill it with a bit of pumice stone or rotten stone. Um, Linseed over the top of that, shellac over the top of that, and she'll come up a treat. Only fools and horses, that's it. And that had the young guy in that was the young guy in uh, Good Night Sweetheart. There you go. So I'm, I'm going I'm to run a marketry course soon, Neil, if you're interested. Yeah, pumice stone or rotten stone. Yeah, I've got I've got a little a container of that, quite yeah. a large one. Yeah. I was going to mix it. Triple E's another one. Well, Triple E's got pumice stone in it. Yeah, well, there's, it's all but, pumice stone. But you're grains. using it as a as a filler. Yeah. If you've got if you've got open grain timber, yeah. All you do is get that. I use shellac with it, or you could just use ordinary water. It doesn't matter. And just scour and scour. We should do it on the stream. Scour and scour around. Figure of eight circles, up and downs, whatever. Looks absolutely terrible. And then let it dry. It looks absolutely shocking. Knock it back with um, this stuff, Scotch Bright. Oh, yeah. Then hit it with raw linseed oil and the pumice goes translucent. So oh, whatever colour oh. you're filling whoosh, disappears. Linseed. That's why, especially in Australia, I can't speak for other countries, but if you see some of those old cedar cabinets around the 1860s, 1840s, 1880s, and they've got a lot of white fleck in them, back in the old days they used to use arrowroot. You can use Plaster of Paris oh, exactly yeah. the same. Uh, Plaster of Paris oh. hasn't got the... Uh, abrasive content that pumice does but yeah no you use pumice a lot and it just you put a bit of shellac on it and why do you need the abrasive is that is that because it 
If, if it works its way into the wood, yeah. By its if, own it's a bit, if it's a bit rough and you really want to get it smooth, you can just rub that over and. There you go. Oh, we're a depth of information. Yeah, I'll let you know, Neil. No dramas. I've just got to finish me smithy. I'm running blacksmith courses too. If you're interested in coming bashing a bit of hot metal around, Theo did some last week. I did. Was that, was that last week? A couple week? of weeks. It was a couple of weeks ago. Stream before that. Was it stream before know, last? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I showed him the hook on the Friday. I, you should see me dog's head. I'm making a dog's head head of a hammer. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is tough steel. Oh. You think? Yeah. you got to get almost up to white hot. It's a, uh, it's I, a, no pun intended, but it's a dog of a thing to do. I enjoyed using that. Well, there you go. I might leave it here, Steve. All right. Right where your apron goes. Without, I did this the, the other day at the show. went like that, and I caught myself right there. It was that tool mix sharp, was it? On there. You don't reach over the top of your tools. Oh, ask Leanne when we go and have a coffee. She reached over one of the knives I sharp for. Oh. And she, I, just, I didn't feel anything. It was a bit of a sting, but then I looked down and blood's pouring out of her. Anyway, that's it. Well, I'll let you know. Well, anyway, that's about it, I think. Oh, it's nearly one o'clock. Is it? No wonder I'm feeling like a coffee. Oh, well, I could do with it. So yeah. that's it. Thank you, everyone, for coming yeah. on. Thanks to it's all the members. Great. If you enjoy what we do, please hit the subscribe button. Eventually there'll be more videos, but I apologise. Um, there hasn't been as many because I'm so busy around the house at the moment. But we're still doing these streams regularly with Theo every two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hopefully um, it'll... We're going to do a more. joint project, but it's just taken us um, a we're bit of a while. We're thinking about a music stand. What do you reckon? We're thinking about a lot of things. No one mentioned the music stand. Yeah, about that. Why you're slipping. <laughs> when we come up with a joint project, we'll, we'll do it. But... Uh, yeah, plenty of time for that. Yeah, no. We'll be good. around for a lot longer. That's it. Now Hopefully. I've got 102, 101, 101 bills left in the yard. We oh, used yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Well. No, that's lovely. That's beautiful. Give us a look. Oh, it's chunky. It's chunky. It's chunky. And, and that's why you, the weight of it, so it can't be pushed around. That is really nice. And, um, Actually, I'm going to put a wax on that. Yeah. When it's dry. Yeah. Just wax it. But, it just shows you you don't really need to use sandpaper. That is, it, it is like a big metal ball's gone. Yeah. Actually, that's no, what it's like a turn like, it, like, turn an, it. like a, a drop of water. Yeah, yeah. I reckon you can turn, turn a, a whole sphere. lot of waves. No, turn a sphere. It sits in the middle. And paint it silver, chrome, and oh yeah, it looks like, like it, it's splashed. Big yeah. splash. I love that one. Mm. We're going to put that one on Instagram. There you go. I visualised that in my flash. head before I did it. Have you visualised uh, anywhere but else? But sometimes you have to re-visualise uh, as you're going, depending on the design no, opportunities. That's nice. I like that. That's gnarly. It's always a bit of a challenge, it's but and uh, but it's. I think I feel safer when people are watching because I know someone can call Triple O. Yeah, with the thing, <laughs> mate, round a button. I got it's four. Just, I got it's four just that I don't know where you live. I got four people that are on the panic button since I be, use a router. Wouldn't that be frustrating? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Well, that's it. Uh, I think don't mention the war. No, don't. That's true. That's true. That's Trevor's off. Uh, that's it. Everyone. See you, Trev. Charlotte's off. Yeah, well, I'm off lad. as well. Probably next week again. Either Theo's or yours. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Well, that's it. So if you're yeah. still watching, thanks very much for watching. If you like, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. You can join the Woodworking Masterclass channel, which helps me out greatly. Even though I haven't been doing as many videos. I'm still there. I appreciate that. Theo streaming next Friday by Next himself. Friday. Theo the Theo Woodturner. Theo the Woodturner at 9am Australian Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, not slack time over here because we've got to take into account travelling time and it takes him a while to thaw out after he's been sitting in his bowl. <laughs> so, anyway, that's it. This is Stephen C Theo saying thanks everyone for joining in. If you're a first timer, please come back. It's lovely to have you in the workshop. And this is Stephen Theo pulling the shed door down and saying remember... To keep it sharp. But more importantly, keep it safe, look after yourself, be kind to each other, and I look forward to, or we look forward to having your company in the workshop at the bench or at the lathe very, very soon. Till then, God bless, good night, good afternoon, Hooray. good morning. See you. Oh, and Bob says woof. See if you can hit. Hit.